I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say big boy racer. I'm, I'm doing this, but in the real world now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was a, um, what are they called? Ah, oh, the feeder series. I didn't know that was a feeder series. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's, it's very typical. Everyone does this. It is. Yeah, so um, K we've partnered with Catrum to be there. They call it a media partner each year. Basically, they have someone from the media come and race. Um, and so they, they said I could do it. Uh, obviously, it's based, and that is in the Catrum Academy, which is their like, grassroots. You can't have held, a, uh, you can't have won a, karting, a national karting championship. <laughs> And you can't have won, uh, sorry, and you can't have held a race license before. So everyone is doing it at the same time, like learning to race in the real world. Um, yeah, we, we, they're all stock cars and road tires. And um, yeah, you have the option to build it. And so we decided, oh, let's see if we can build a car in uh, 24 hours. And we did. So that was good. Oh, I was on mute. So nice. <laughs> uh, but everyone, everyone can hear Callum, people are saying um yeah that's awesome i can't wait i um i need to work out which round i'm gonna visit he says you guys yes Snetterton. yes i think that you're be london right yeah so um is donnington on there i can't remember if donnington's on there yeah donnington's on there Maybe. shame we're not doing brands because that's right right there for you yeah but i think i've been to brands so i've actually never been to donnington so i think oh I'm nice cool. Um, Django says, tell Callum that Django says this is his moment, his chance to prove himself <laughs> to the Caterham Academy. Django is uh, is also racing in the Academy. Oh, nice. We uh, we got our race license a couple of weeks ago together. Uh, we're in the same group. Yeah. Um, and uh, we've been racing. They have a Caterham. It's open to anyone, actually. They have a Caterham series on Assetto Corsa yeah. using all of the same cars, but in um, in like the week before the race yeah uh with the same tracks and stuff so oh, that's, that's awesome cool but yeah, yeah I, I raced in one of those races last uh last wednesday yeah it's good actually and what's the to so the makeup of drivers is you can't so no one can have held a professional license no no one can have held a race license or a karting won a karting championship basically you, you this isn't something you do if it, you know if um you're a seven-year-old trying to work your way up right the deal isn't that it's, it's supposed to be like grassroots entry yeah you, you're not all competing on who spends the most money um in theory uh, uh, so is it people that have nice cars in real life and is it more aimed at rather... judging from everyone else most people there yes have Correct. have held a nice car in real life uh, or their parents do and um yeah, are doing it that way. So you, you spend, I think it's like 35 grand, you buy the car and you get all of the racing and everything dealt with for the season. When you so buy you the car, do you buy do you one keep, thing? You don't keep it, do you? Yeah, you do. You keep it you, after? You keep the car. And you can then upgrade the car to to like move up their ladder. You can buy like the next rung in the ladder, for example, is just a change of tires and a roll bar. You just buy those bits and then you're, you're in, in the next series. Yeah. How, how much is a car inherently worth? uh hard to say ah quality's open we got to jump in because we only get one yeah map, right? i'm 10 percent I'm from loading it, it must be worth more than 10 grand right oh the car the yeah. cars are like between 25 and 30 but then depending on so you basically buy the car and you race for, for cheap sort of yeah so you could sell the car after and then yeah lots of people do it's, it's, it's an excellent way to do it what can, really, really what, can, what can Rob Groove Anomaly? Rob Groove just got my VR today. It's not looking terribly clear, but it feels awesome. Yeah, VR is it's a different way of driving for sure. You happy for me to jump in, Cannon, then? Yeah, go for it, mate. I've just put the setup on for you. Okay, nice, nice, nice. There you go, it's on. No off tracks, please. Banker oh, yeah. is what we want here, mate. You only get one shot of this. Yeah, there's no banker as such, is it? This is it. Hmm. Right, let's go. Live. Our delivery didn't work. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your 
Ah, oh, Team Happy Life are in here. They are, as are Eco Green. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And let me just, because I'm obviously not that warmed up, so. Yeah, just take it easy. It's a bit of a weird qualifying session, isn't it? Because everything is cold, but also yeah. light. But yeah, and then, but you've also, any heat you just put in your tyres will be gone by this braking zone. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. Lovely. You braked late there. That was good. You know what I've realised? Actually, if you, I'm starting to appreciate more. If you brake earlier there, you brake more efficiently without getting an ABS. When I brake too mm. late, I engage the ABS and it's slower. I, f I find it especially here because the braking mark is somewhere in between. It's not quite at the 100 boards a little bit before. If you try and brake at the 100, I engage the ABS, so... Yeah. I was actually chatting to Scott about this. It's a real skill to be able to know, okay, I'm going to break later this time mm. and not push the pedal harder. Um, ah, I see what you mean. That was something I, I was doing in, in the real life. I, I did a track their brands and was like, okay, I'm going to push it a bit further. And now I'd lock up the first time I tried it. Yeah. Because you naturally go, ooh, <laughs> and push it harder. This corner's so critical, Malsan. If you go yeah. too deep, you lose so much time. By the way, if you it's cut it by a millimetre, you get like a two second slowdown. Oh, it, it's oh yes. You end up losing like five seconds. Yeah. Hope everyone in chat is good. Yeah, my goal this season with sim racing and real racing is yeah. to test my assumption that sim racing can enable you to be a better real driver. And so I've been going through my book of like track notes in the sim and really trying to develop in it's the great. sim before getting in the car. I'll let you go, Porsche curves. Yes, great idea. I think you agree. Because if you talk to real drivers, a lot of them go, oh, it's 0% correlation. If you talk to sim drivers, they'll go, it's 100%. I'm trying to see where in the middle it is. <laughs> All right, it's a lap. I think I lost quite a bit in turn one. The rest was quite par. Nah, that was good. Um, well I, done for getting around with no slowdowns and thanks, off tracks. And I feel like Scott was initially quite cynical towards sim racing, but I feel like he's warmed more to it. Really? Yeah. I remember he did a he did a talk to Motorsport UK about maybe three years ago, and um, that was a talk to real. I was there as a real racing driver. Okay. And um, he was like, yeah, this won't give you the same feeling, this won't give you the same feeling. Oh man, that lap is right at the back. I think the first two corners I lost a second. That's good, mate. That's good. Um, yeah, uh, ever since I've known him, he's been very pro sim racing. I mean, he's built a company on sim yeah. racing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was likely before I knew him. Uh, but yeah, he, he's talking me through like, these are the things you can take from sim racing and these are the things you can't. For example, um, I jumped in that car at Brands and it was wet. And yeah. it's like, wet lines are not a thing in sim racing. 
because it's not the rubber it's like water on rubber doesn't they haven't won yeah. that yeah you're, you're going around like i was going around brands going okay this bit of tarmac right here that they've like relay you know the all the tarmac around the track isn't the same age it's not been worn the same yeah. amount it's yeah. not got the same amount of rubber on it it's not you know got the same amount of crap that's blown over the track or whatever like all of it's different so you've got to go around and go all right this bit do i take the outside line do i take the inside line do, you know where's the camber where's it whereas in sim racing it's not so much like that it's like this is the line i think in the um, in the wet and real life it's more all bets are off and it comes more down to pure driving talent and yeah. instinct where sim racing yeah. generally you can just kind of brute force away and press it what Did you swap the um, yeah, I got setup? Yeah, Le Mans R1 Endurance. Great. Should be it. And remember to grid this time. <laughs> yes. Well, that apparently... big green button, can you click I it, mate? I, I, I saw yeah. that screen. <laughs> welcome, on, welcome <laughs> Ivan. Addicted to racing. We're in the same split car. 757, welcome. We'll know who to punt then. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't mean that seriously in case... <laughs> yeah, yeah. For, for... we're <laughs> we're also starting next to Team Happy Life, oh which is good news. Oh, the livery's loaded for me. Is it loaded for you? Oh, I can't see some in the car now. Okay. Yeah, so like, I'm going around. I mean, I'm downloading all of the tracks I'm racing and. The, you know the most the latest ones and for a lot of us set of course there have been people who've gone around and laser scanned them now which is good yeah so i'm like i'm looking at this like and then going through my book of track notes going right is this is that true here does this work in the sim does it not work in the sim uh yeah i've actually got my first track day in the car um on friday oh nice what track is that uh castle coom uh sketchy track isn't there like some really fast corners there that like there's used... apparently according to them right yeah. which they would love you know um the most dangerous corner in british motorsport is there it's called avon rise it's like a kink in the braking zone yeah. but it goes over a crest so yeah. lots of people lose the rear and go in the barrier um sounds fun but yeah well, I, th <laughs> yeah. I think i think the track days are gonna be great but i think for you that wheel tour racing is gonna be insane because you're gonna have the visit the it's just because open copy, you can have all the visibility and noise and... Uh, I would appreciate if we do yeah. a single file to start. Welcome, Black, uh, Big Ready as well, Roderick. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Hope everyone's looking forward to this. This is going to be our view for this stint. It's big as have... Wow, yeah, a lot of people in this. Um, Tim Johnson here. We've raced him before. So, I'm just trying to keep think of what to spot we are yeah, there's lots of people behind us i wouldn't right off that starting position it's good it's going to be about staying alive here yeah for sure also potentially about saving a little bit of fuel do you think it's the touch and go for the hour i based on guesses yes <laughs> okay that's good to know oh, we could do a big lifting coast here Particularly at the beginning is a fairly cheap way of doing it, you know. Yeah. Like, it'll be carnage into those first two chicanes. You're probably best lifting anyway. Yeah. Just go steady on those tyres and heavy fuel. It was, it was dodgy earlier when I was oh, yeah. testing. Tetra Rouge is just like. <sighs> Thanks, Black. Thanks, everyone in chat. It's a three-hour race this one, so hopefully a lot of fun. Do you think we'll go dark, Callum, as well? That's a pretty moody time of day, isn't it? Yeah, I should have looked at that. Hang on. It is 8 a.m. in game, so no, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sun is coming up. Nice. It'll mean it'll get hot at the end of the stint. Yeah, temps. Right, yeah, self-preservation kind ready, of... Going green. Single pile up there. Yeah, dude. Yeah, two drivers this one. Self and Callum. Callum's links in the description. Buddy. The um, jet planes have just gone. Doesn't it start around here? Uh, uh, I'll first. keep an eye on when they're going. Green, green, green. Yeah, I'm green. Right, they're going, they're going. Lupe, what right, you I, one on your left. Leave space. It's concertina -ing. It's concertina -ing. Be ready. 
be ready. Yeah, good. Uno por fuera. Hold your line. Good. Still, still too wide. People standing at the iron. Right. Get him single file. Oh no, you're gonna get him. You're gonna get him. Got a better run. Well, see. He's going now. There's people coming out the pit lane as well. How the hell have they done that? That pit lane starters have jumped you. Steady on the brakes. All clear still. Someone's sending it. Turn right. Oh my. X Men. Team Happy Life nearly murdered you. Same old. Right, it's starting to go single file now. It's Ferrari's. Yeah. You gonna go for it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Nice. Didn't know if that door was gonna close. Yeah, Ferrari's going steady. Come on, my guy, let's go. There you are. Good run, mate. Considering. Lovely stuff. Nice. Yeah, quad Q, there's two of us. Likely Kirith, Mead, and Kirith, I imagine. Yeah. Are you gonna go for it? I think so, yeah. It's on. Let's hope he moves left. Yeah, I'll see what he does. This is very silly of him. Yeah. Good, good, good. You've got him. Oh! My god! Incoming. Uh, yeah, he got saved, right. Didn't he? Yeah. He. <laughs> <laughs> the guy sent this dive bomb from a postcode back and yeah, then ran through the to be a w there. <laughs> that's the second time that's happened to you this race. I concentrate on staying in the toe here. Yeah, 1.3. So need to have a good exit here. It'll be big because there's several cars, but... Oh, big crash up ahead, but yeah, you've got a while. Smoke. Around the corner. Focus on your corner. It's on your corner. Right, I'm going to flick ahead. Looks like it's cleared up. Yeah, right. One side. rejoining on the right. Yeah. Good. And rejoining on the left. Oh dear. Yeah, they both reset. Must be a big one. All right, well done. I right, navigated. That's a couple of freebies. Uh, Constantinering. Yeah, it's right a bit up. earlier. Wow, so so many cars, isn't it? Did you yeah. see, have you seen that video on Twitter about that GT3 standing start to bring? Oh yeah. What was, what was that about? <laughs> they just I, from what I've seen, they decided fairly last minute they were going to do a standing start, and obviously no one is ready for that. Like the traction control in a GT3 car is is, is not designed for that, and the clutches aren't designed for it, and the gearing isn't designed for it. Like none of that. Uh, and so, obviously, some people got a great start, some people got r ridiculously bad starts, and there was a massive pile-up. Cover this off? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it just reminded me of those starts in F1 back in the day when, like, someone would stall on the grid. Oh, God, they hands. were awful. Yeah, I know. It's like, it was kind of like that, because... Anyway. Yeah. Oh, Matt Joy's on the, uh, on the old, um, blower to us. Is he? Yeah, it said YouTube royalty. Not sure about YouTube royalty, but... Right, there might be a spin here, I imagine. Side by side ahead, did you see that? Yeah, you're still okay. Someone's One in the barrier on the here. right. Oh, it's a big mess here. Yellow ahead, still clear, still good so far. Just stick with him, still good so far. All clear, all clear. Get so yeah, well done. Oh, whoa, my words. What's this hoot? Oh my god, be inside the hooters here. Yep. Right, nah, he's gone. Okay, Late, he's side by side. Yeah. yeah, you're backing out. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, follow him through. I should have been a bit braver there. Well. It's good. No, it's fine. It's fine. God, I miss VRS at this moment of time. <laughs> Oh no! What's Matt Joy said that was my team in the barrier. Oh, oh. mate. Isn't Matt Joy you oh, gave him your rig, right? Yeah, yeah, he sold it though. 
I think when I when I spoke to Matt, um, he was racing with his rig like in the roof, and yeah. so he didn't have much like vertical space. So actually, it was an ideal rig for him. Oh, nice. It sounds like he's either moved house or moved rooms with it. So he's built like a wooden rig oh, now. Because that that one was, I mean, it's it's good in that it packs up small, but it's not very comfortable. It's very sustainable though, isn't it? Sustainable materials. I think so. To be honest, mine's made. My, my rig now is made out of wood, so <laughs> like it's all ply. Yeah, you've got to slip here. Yeah. I think he's running slightly less wing than you, but you're still getting him. There you go, mate. You clear? Yes. Bit white on to get slow down. Come on. All good. Yeah, Stand yeah. the toe. It will have a better run than us. We might be getting. What's this Ferrari come from? Jesus Christ! Team Happy Life sending it. Another one coming. Move oh, right when yeah. you can. Move right. Move right. Move right. Hang on. So I just didn't feel comfortable that I should have done it earlier, so... Block him, mate. <laughs> yeah. He's not alongside you, you can block. Yeah. Matt says in the chat, you put a business case into me that I blocked. Yeah, fair enough. Don't blame you, mate. Oh, he's going for it. Yeah, you, you will have the toe. I, think I'm I'm I would say he's going to be a bit crazy, yeah, I would say let him have it. Oh, dive bomb behind. I love that. Yeah. It's been a crazy race already, and we're it's on. It's been crazy, but it hasn't been, as far as I can see, it hasn't been like a big, big one, has there? Yeah. So no. we're still like pretty we're still, punched. We're still waiting for the big one. Yes. <laughs> 30 out, remember? That Ferrari's on it. Both of them, actually. Matthew Presley says he'll be in the wall within five laps guaranteed. <laughs> let's yeah, see. Fair enough. Let's see. I wouldn't say that, that. I wouldn't say that's a ridiculous bet. Oh my word! See the constant here. Yeah. BMW behind you is quick as well. Okay. It's got three point one k driver in there, so. Okay. Crash ahead, you're all good, you'll stay as you are, yeah. Thanks. He's rejoining. Off on the right, yeah, go left. Oh my god, come on. Don't come across, mate. Yeah, well done. Well done. You know, people go off and come back on and then immediately try and race you, it's like, mate. <laughs> yeah, just sort of like re regather yourself. Yeah. Especially the three Get hours. Speed. Looks, is it, am I correct in thinking there might be someone at the front here sort of corking the bottle? Doesn't look it. I can maybe it's just yet. my draw distance. Yeah. So I thought I could see a gap ahead of him or her. Going defensive here. Well done, all yours. Well defended. Oh, okay, no, maybe it's just a lot of cars. Stay in the toe here, don't defend. Yeah. I think he's running maybe a bit less there. Yeah. Okay, I think he'll have us. Oh, okay. He'll hit a wall of air here. I'll tell you what he's doing. Still there, still there. Yeah, he's still there, still there. 
He's got you. Clear. He's crashing. He made contact He's with the crashing. Bush. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> was that the one that Matthew Presley? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, but it was a similar vibe. <laughs> he was unlucky there because you know that Porsche was getting overtaken, so it sort of filtered back in. That's yeah, why the Porsche he... didn't weird line. The thing is, he, he had a tap with him and then got away with it the first time and then hit him again <laughs> and then went off. Well navigated, mate. This Porsche has been overtaken by a few of them, and then we've got Kyle, um, Kyle's team up here. Okay. Incredible, man. The leaders are five seconds quicker than us right now. It's Fine. Insane, there, isn't it? That is pretty mad. Well, when you've got no one in your way. That's true. You, you would have been going three seconds quicker. Had. See some dust here. You're all good so far. Yeah, all good. It's because everyone runs in that gravel. Oh, someone crashed behind. I'm gonna cancel, have a nose cancel, I'm seating a bit too far back than usual. I, I have been modifying my rig all today. I've taken the pedals off. Um, I think it might be a trick of the camera. That makes me look like that. I have noticed that in, in your streams, you're always, your arms always look quite straight when you're on the wheel. Yeah, I, I always have my wheel like really close to me. It's definitely further away than I had it on the play seat, but my arms are still bent. I'll have a look back at it. But I do get a lot of comments, you know, people, helpful people saying, oh, you... Yeah. It's probably the angle. Yeah. The, the thing I definitely didn't have set up correctly was my pedals until today. Okay. Yeah, so I just modified all that around. I hate doing work on the rig. It's always like... Oh, big where one. Oh, big one. Yeah. And the screen say, BMW. Entry, I'd say. <laughs> uh, side by I'm side ahead. Get Whoever that was. Get a run, run, yeah. Go on. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Left man, get a toe? No. Break no, it's forward. gone now. Oh, the guy's I'm, moving. I'm just going to mm. filter. I'm just going to filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good decision. It's going to Constantine here. Um, yeah, I really hate working my rig because it's behind this TV and like the monitor, the desk, and everything. It's like nothing is easy to work on. I'm like clambering under cables and things. So. Yeah. Yep, I hate it too. It's always like really claustrophobic and you never reach what you want. Yeah. There's like a million cables and you don't know what's what. Is that a slowdown? Yep. I think no, that, that I was lucky. We both had to wind it back in. Thanks everyone chat. Yeah, that was a big spin there. There's so many cars in close proximity, it's going to happen. Is this the same guy behind us, Callum? It might be. No, but I think he's also running low wing. Oh, it's a Hooters one. Yeah. Uh, he's backing out. Nice. Clever decision, good sir. Ooh, that might be a for the green car there. Do we taking a slow down to speed this car? I suspect so. Can't tell. I think he probably... Yeah, I suspect he is. I think he cut the exit. Yeah. Porsche has such a distinctive sound, doesn't it? Yeah, I love it. Yo, tit, bro. Can you stop send it now? I'm, I'm actually going to Finland this man. week. Oh, nice. Doing some ice karting. Ah, oh, <laughs> sick. <laughs> yeah, stoked. It's going to be good. We Go on. Oh, nice. He's going for it. Make him back out here, yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's backed out. All yours. Line is yours. And deep on exit. You're okay. You might have you back here. Let's see. I'm oh, just a little bit too deep on the exit. I mean, there's, if, if we can sort this out, there's clear air to go into, isn't it? But... Mm. Sort of neck and neck now, so... 
I would say take it. He's not going to want to go around the outside here. Oh, he has. He has. Great move by him. It was so good. My windscreen wipers went on. Lovely. Crash ahead. Big one, it seems. A lot of Constantino effect. Ah! Uh, go. Just uh... Go forwards, go forwards. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna go like this. Jesus Christ, we caused four car pile up. Yeah, reverse there. Were you avoiding that crash? It was yeah, a big crash. I think so. I think I've uh, just snatched it. I saw the Lambo. Okay, right. Yeah, good. One rejoining. Okay, get in his toe if you can. Yeah, oh, that's frustrating. Uh, car okay? I think so. I don't know if we made contact with anyone. I got a zero. Uh, you got a car hit from behind, but. Doesn't look like there's any damage. Okay. You were lucky there. Other people got it worse because of us. <laughs> right. Seize it back in. Yeah, it's tires will be hot. It's quite a comedic pile up, actually. Now the car feels pretty good, so. Okay, crack on. It. As we were. Someone pitting. Couple in the pits, actually. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Oh, he's going to slow down. It's quite a weird series of events because I was thinking, oh, there's a clear error ahead he's of us. He's got to slow down. Yeah. Um, let's see what he does here. And then um, we went side by side on the way in, he got ahead, and then it was just like, there was no space ahead of us. I think two plus prize a little yeah. bit. He's going to have to give it up. Oh, he's got, still got his nose in. Yeah, so he came back a little bit. He's off a little bit. He might have a slow down on the exit there, actually. Like, why just hold, you know, uh... This is hopefully something that you can definitely take from sim racing is like that knowledge of I'm sure I'm sure you get it in real world racing like in karting but that knowledge of race craft of let's get you know let's optimize race time let's not get in silly battles You know, working together when you need to, backing out when you need to, yeah. not just, yeah. There was a guy in the KTM series the other day, he was just like, <laughs> going for every move. Yeah. There's always one. And it uh, doesn't get you far, does it? Well, I suppose it can do, if you could have hit that. Yeah. Oh, go on. Yeah, you'll have a run on him out of here. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Starting to come now a little bit. Game of chicken through there. Yeah, I thought better. I suppose if we catch this pack ahead, it's not the worst thing. Yeah. Right, I might do some fuel calcs. Nice. So exciting. Oh, 
Oh, he's got to slow down there, for sure. No, he's a bit ahead of us. Can't be pitting here, what's he doing? Oh, don't take your slow down like that, come on. You're not allowed to do that. He 100% had one, so unless he's really bleeding it off, I imagine he still has something to get rid of. Good send. He's going wide. Cut him back. Zero X on the way in there. Hmm. He's doing a bit of a weaving, this guy. Hmm. You're not going to make it to the hour, so yeah. Any any fuel saving will help. But not necessary. I don't, know I don't like this guy. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Because I've got the green, it, the green car behind us just eating us up as well. Be yeah, okay. He's moving right to try and get you to just take the line. Yeah. Struggle to go around the Ooh, outside. Oh, doing me contacts. You're right. You're right. Still my car. He's going in deep. Yeah. Go and get on the throttle. Nice. Like rampage. That's twice now. I've had like contacts on the way in there. I think that was just a bit of side side side, side door banging okay. where you're both like in the ABS and I'm not sure. A bit. There's another one there. It's just a bit. Seems to me a bit clumsy, but. Sending coming. Christ, that was close. Closing in. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. So how short are we on, on the hour? It's, it's hard to tell because uh, the lap's so long. Um, I need to look at the time when you go over the line and see how much fuel you've got. Let him go early. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. Try and beat it off from the start. Oh! Rejoining. Rejoining. Good. Still half a second, 0.4. I'll just try and lose it in the chicane. We're about 10 minutes short on the hour. Okay, so because it's Le Mans and you're just burning so much fuel down the straights, you're not going to be able to save enough. But obviously, anything you can gains us a minute to the yeah. end of the race. Not minutes, seconds. Basically, everyone's going to be doing more than. 
Okay. Good to know. Alright, we don't have anyone what? behind us really now. Yeah. Are you, are you karting much this year? I'm trying to. It's just my championship at the moment is every two weeks. So oh, okay. I, I can only read. It's just sometimes it's too intense. So it's basically every month for me. But I'm second at the moment in my class. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've been enjoying your um, Daytona like videos. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's nice when you know the people and like you know their style of driving and. Absolutely, it's the same in lawnmower racing. Like you know who you're battling, and yeah, you know, you know you'll both have a beer that night. You know, so yeah, you you both race fair and yeah. I don't know what they've done at Daytona, but this year it's definitely more like a community than it's ever been. I don't know Excellent. why. I don't think they've actively done. Well, they do. They do promote the championships a bit more. Like they put them at a bit nicer times and they give it a bit more space. Yeah. Whereas before it just felt kind of crammed in. So but okay. the, guy, the guy who's leading my championship, he races in Daytona in Florida. Does he? Yeah. He has like a store. I think he raced like Formula Renault in the UK. That's when he got kind of you know, spotted. Oh, he knows what he's doing then. Yeah. He's very aggressive. Is he? He's very, yeah. And he's, I'm not saying he's over the... He's clearly not over the line because he's not getting penalised. But he's very aggressive. He's a very pleasant person when you speak to him on the track. He's like, you know, it's the, that's the reality of like karting. Mm. He's sort of like, he'll put you in a position where it's like, either you're going to hit the tyres or we're going to crash or you're going to back out. Oh, he's still there. Yep, still there. Yeah, I'm um, with Lorma Racing and Cater and stuff. Basically, I have four weekends off this entire summer, wow. like until September. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I love that. Is it going to be physically We're... intense? Yes. Like recovery? Lorma Racing is the most intense motorsport I've ever done in terms of like phys physicality. Yeah. It's like karting, you know how your arms and shoulders hurt? Yeah. Kart, like, Lomo racing is a bit heavier on those, but also like your back and your legs hurt because you're like clinging onto the thing. Yeah. Whereas in, in a cart, like the seat supports you, he's going wide. Oh no. That's fine. Plant Port Killer, yeah, we made a video on the Overdrive YouTube channel about Lomo racing. It is crazy. Lots of people are like, what the hell is that? But. Um, it's a really cheap way to get into motorsport, and it's it's fun. And it's a summer sport, really, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Um, we're actually doing a uh, twelve-hour race this year. Ah. What in dark? Part of it. Yeah, through the night, <laughs> eight pm to so eight am. You got lights on your on your lawnmowers, or just flood yeah. around? Yeah, yeah, lights. Wow. Light That's intense. It should just floodlight it, I think, but. The cost is enormous. How long are the circuits they make? A mile. They always wow. aim for a mile. That's long. Yeah, I know. Karting circuits <laughs> normally less than a kilometre. Yeah, and um, they always aim for like long straights to give people a bit of a break. But it means that people are hitting 55, 60 down the straights. Like it just sounds quickening. insane. And like the gear you have to wear looks like you're going into. It's like Mad Max. Yeah. Sort of <laughs> it's like motocross gear, basically. Is it a lot of people who do it? Are they like come from farming families and whatnot? Cut, a lot of people come from karting and can't afford karting. Okay. Um, but yeah. No, it's, it's, it sounds insane. Um, it, most sport is just getting so expensive. Like Club One Hundred have raised their price. Club One Hundred every year you have to like sign up as soon as you get the email. And even then, you're not guaranteed. So you sign up at the email at that price, and this year they raised the price in between the sign up and the start of the season as a surcharge. I don't think it's their fault, it's just like stuff is getting so expensive. 
but yeah. fuel insurance. Oh, oh cool. Oh. Yeah, what well, what how... gear do you exit out there, by the way? Second or third? Second. I like second for the rotation on the way in. Yeah. Sometimes I'll up shift right on the apex. Yeah. I'm second out of here, but it's a little bit buzzy sometimes. Sometimes I try first, though. Really? Sometimes. That, yeah, Mazda rotation's good. Alright, set me I, up um, now. Wrote a video on Max Verstappen's sim racing style this week for Driver 61. Nice. It's going, it's going well actually. It went out at 4 p.m. today, but it's doing well. So have you seen? Um, have you seen like what these content houses do these days to basically copy your yeah. videos? They put it into yeah. like a regenerator. <laughs> uh, do you think? Do you, can you get like anti-plagiarism software on that? I d it all depends on what YouTube do. But YouTube and won't know because it's a different script and it's a different file, yeah. basically. But, but we just, we're just cracking on and just trying to stay ahead of them. You know, they'll never beat us with that. Yeah. They'll always be trailing, so it's kind of how we see it. But I reckon bad. YouTube at some point will crack down pretty hard on a yeah. lot of AI stuff. Oh, he's gone. It's not. Wow, well, how? Old? Well, not him. You. Well, I just, just slowed down, that's what they Because <laughs> he went one way, then he went the other. Yeah. We'll take the position. Yeah, we're getting copied a lot now, but is what it is. Presumably you're going to hit F1 really hard now, this season. Because uh, some uh, of your, like, for me, most viral content seems to be like around that. Yeah. Bloody when there's it. something inter interesting enough, we will. Last last year, we made the mistake of just picking the most interesting thing of the race and making a video on it. Whereas yeah. often that isn't that isn't good enough. Yeah. You know, you're just you're just competing with the race then, and the race will beat us to get it out because they have a bigger team. But sometimes a bigger team can make it slower. Like if it's just Scott and and you know recording it off the cuff, the point. and you got the thumbnail ready. Things it, it takes me a day to write these videos. Uh, okay, but that's like, what, yeah. But that, you don't, presume you don't, like, if something would happen in qualifying today about, like, a technical aspect, um, that's the sort of stuff where Scott has the expertise, right, so, I don't know. Yes and no, like, you can have the expertise and make the wrong, you know, do you know what I mean? Is that slow Serious, Because what I <clears> find, <throat> when I go up, up against, like, these big content houses, let's say a patch is released or a game's released, I know I can get my video out before them. Yeah, good quality, and that is only because I reckon for them it has to go through approval. They get different people look at it. They kind of get sent to like the manager to like sign off, and by then mine's already out and like getting views. And their editor is, you know, working nine to five, so after five. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, whereas you're like, let me yeah. just do this as fast as possible, and you're happy to work hard and all that stuff. But it's a really interesting kind of dynamic, isn't it? That's. Mm. I wonder, you know, like with Matt and Tommy leaving um, WTF1, I wonder if now they feel like they have more freedom to, you know, yeah. do what they want to do. Yeah. I, saw your, I saw your post, by the way, on Twitter about podcasts. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Is it just... I'm just, just getting fed this? up of everyone releasing... I don't know if, if anyone's seen this. Like, someone releases a podcast, right, and they've got a... a even if slightly sizable following... They'll then post like an hour later. Oh my god, we hit the top charts! Thank you, everyone. This is amazing. Not what I expected. I'm like, this, the system is broken here. If you can release a podcast and on day one be top of the charts, but it can't be top of the charts. It must be top of like sport podcasts or something. Yeah, yeah. But um, P1, yeah, uh, were beating Joe Rogan for a small window. The P1, of time. they they absolutely smashed. I mean. They there's, there must be a lot behind the scenes there that I don't know about the whole context. But the way they managed to transfer that, I thought yeah. was incredible. Well, I heard through the grapevine yeah. um, that they they had to deal with, they almost got sued 
they had like a bit of a legal battle with WTF1, so that's why things took that. a while. Yeah. But I think a lot of that will be the fact that in their leaving thing, which went out on WTF1, they'll be like, they're like, oh, we'll be back soon. We're yeah, back yeah. soon. We're back soon. <laughs> it's like they're promoting their next thing on WTF1. But it's really, it's, like, inter- mm. it's, it's a really interesting thing. Like, let me put it to you. Like, what is Driver 61 without Scott, for example? Exactly. Do you, do you know, it's a really interesting concept and businesses aren't normally like that. Businesses are, everyone is, you know, everyone is replaceable, right? But... Yes. These person things are a bit different. I think the race group have been completely blindsided by this. Of like, oh, if Matt leaves, Matt and Tommy, but Matt mainly, yeah, we, we're nothing. <laughs> yeah. So they went out and hired some excellent creators. I like the people they've hired, yeah. but they've got to struggle there because everyone is so used to the style that was there before. Well, it's like the top. It's, a, it's, it's like a classic top, top Gear thing, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You can't just take Top Gear keep the recipe but change the people it doesn't it doesn't work i wonder if that puts more power in the hands of the faces okay yeah absolutely but the thing is about you'll know with production especially with your role like at that level there's a lot of people involved and not everyone is in front of the camera all the time right yeah and so then it becomes a little bit you start Uh, expect a dive bomb here (laughs) no all good but then it becomes a bit, a bit like you know, either your talent or your not, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I find that whole thing fascinating. I, I, I'd love to look back in ten years at like YouTube and like you know my journey as part of that and where everything started. And I'm convinced it won't be possible in ten years to really make it on your own. I just feel like mm. you just need teams. You need specialists like. Well, great YouTube editors are in massive shortage, you know. Yeah. It's so hard to hire editors, is what we found. But you can charge good rate. They, they get paid now, which is great, obviously. But, um, They're pushing hard behind you. Move right, cover uh, them off. Shoot. Sorry, They're too. both going to go. Yeah, I, I should, should, I should. Bear that in mind. Oh, sorry. I should one's packed out. One's packed out. He's overshot slightly. Yeah. Uh, guy behind the lap cart. Mm-hmm. He was bump drafting the guy who overtook you. Okay. Go on, you've got him you, quite early here. Yeah. Slip is very powerful, isn't it? Still there, hold your line. Move right, move right. Oh, he just got a bump. So, yeah. yeah. Still there. Line's yours, line's yours. You're both late on the brakes. Woo. Well done. Tell you what, Cam, this race is flying by. Yeah. Um, and you got three laps of fuel left. You joking? Three laps of fuel? Yeah. This race is just like yeah. Um, the other thing is thumbnail editors. Yeah. Um, people are always shocked when I tell them how long I spend doing my thumbnails. I can look at your thumbnails and know how long you're spending. <laughs> you know what, Cannon? For a lot of videos I do, like my PSVR2 ones, I'll be completely honest. A thumbnail is much more important than the actual video. Oh. That every video I've ever made, the thumbnail is more important than the video. <laughs> that, um, the last two, well, Driver 61 video, we had one that really went mental, and that was that crash one. Yeah. Because we found a bizarre image and wrote a video around it. That's great. Um, and that, that was, we do that fairly regularly. We try and aim to do it every video, but it's not always the case. You're good. It's still your line. It's deep. Well done. Have come off. You close the door there. Lovely. Someone losing time ahead. Oh, it's a back marker. Okay. But you, you do a lot. I notice with your video to thumbnails change. Do you do active A/B testing, or is that a manual thing? For <laughs> we change stuff when the CTR is what we but want. But do you? Because I look. At, I I never know whether to believe the CTR off the bat. I, I think oh, you yeah. guys are very aggressive at changing it early. We are, yeah. Um, also, we know Ooh. what the CTR should be. Oh, well done. But it's a bit, it's, it's a bit three-dimensional, isn't it, Canon? Because at the beginning, it's going out to your subscribers and your notification people. But then yeah. it gets tested more on, like, you know, new people, which is how you grow. So the I never... secret is to look at CTR based on traffic source. That stays stable. That one, that squiggly graph, it goes up and down. 
Well, if you look one. at um, CTR on Browse and CTR on Suggested... Oh, oh I was Clear. forced you to back play. out. Guy behind you is saving fuel massively, so I don't think he'll go for it. I can hear him clutching in. Nah, I did it See what happens here. Someone's going to come out coming out as well. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, what's that? You're on your left. This all feels quite treacherous. Mm. Yeah, I'll always make like four versions of a thumbnail before we release it. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I've gone. I've gone, I've gone. I've gone. It's right. Stay locked up. Yeah, good. Well done. Well held. I'll tell you what, fair play to that guy behind. Fair play. I'd say you owe it to him to tuck him behind you. <laughs> Do you mind going back on the replay and just seeing did I hit the curb on the inside or something? Okay, have a look. You lost it on the way in. Too aggressive turning. So. Too aggressive turning, and I'm guessing too aggressive braking. Uh, okay. You did every, you did everything a bit late. Okay. So I imagine slightly aggressive braking, slightly aggressive turning, and it went. But well held to get the front back round. Yeah, I don't know how. This guy's got no back. Should I bump him? Uh, yeah. It's high risk. Oh, I'll just see it then. <laughs> If you just get right up close, he, he does get a benefit. Ooh. I think he might have a penalty for that, Slivia. I think he's got quite a bit of... I presume that translates to aero damage. Mm. Might try and actually go around the outside. Is he going to back out? Clear on the right. Car right. Bruh. I thought he came Bruh. across a little bit wide there. He did. He absolutely did. He swerved. Like, mate, we're not even battling. Stop it. What going for? Um, just hope for this slow down on the back of me. Oh, you've got to slow down. Yeah. 0 0.2. I'm going wide, yeah. F1 was interesting today. Did you watch Quali? Oh, go on. Bear with me. I will. Good overtake. Oh, he's, nah, nah, he's not not that. This guy wants to have a crash. <laughs> he's very wide. I think his lines are just wide, aren't they? He's just a wide boy. Uh, so I'm a boxing next lap then. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it took me a minute to think then. No, that's fine. Cool. Am I getting in the car? Or do yeah. you want to go again? Uh, I don't mind, to be honest. I feel that it might be good to get you. Okay. Then you'll be in for a stint and a bit at the end. Okay, sounds good. Ooh. Oh! Jeez, well done, mate. Did you get a slowdown already? I did. Can I just go back and tell him he's a maniac? Yeah. I'm just gonna DM. Maniac! Oh, I gotta slow down. Blacker says I'm an alien who doesn't care about the thumbnails. I think. This is such a broad audience on YouTube. Like some people just really trust that they're going to like what you do for various factors. But then there's also the the testing on a new audience. And that it's very that's dynamic that's space. All well and good. I doubt Vlatka would have found Kirith's channel had it not been for a thumbnail that he clicked on. That's a good way, I mean. good way of putting it, yeah. 
but you could say that could have been a good thumbnail and then I could do bad ones or something. Um, I do, I do, it's just there's so many different layers, like, the, for me I find the en the core engine of my core fans, a lot of people watching now who want to watch my videos, click on my videos, like my videos, comment on my videos, that is the core, like, engine of the channel. Yeah. And as that I snowballs, that the channel doesn't grow without that. But then YouTube is always pushing your... You know, there are more people not clicking your video than clicking on it. What are you guys doing? So it's yeah. always being pushed to new people. And it's about you to... But I have been... Recently, I have been able to get videos that have, you know, low 30% click-through rate for the first few hours. So I, f I feel like with that sort of signal, the next video should be shared more and more. more. I'm definitely trying yeah. to do more just quality. Definitely. It's a bit of, my space is a bit weird, Callum, in GT7, because the the zeitgeist in GT7 YouTubing is just through the same video every day. Which is a daily race video. And maybe stream. Mm. There's there's very there's not a lot of people doing stuff outside that. And I actually don't think that's a very healthy Model. You can see the same with F1, like all of them just do my team. It's like, oh. yeah, it's a good point. Good point. I think a lot of but, them burn out as well. They get kind of fed up with my team. Absolutely. Time. Yeah, when you're in season seven or something. Well, then like, it's episode um, 183 of my team. I'm yeah, like, it's wow. like, oh come on, mate. But like, I think of the audience. Mick Schumacher's go. winning the championship in a Alpha Tauri, and but it's like it's like, like <laughs> neighbors, isn't it, or something? It's like it's that. I think my nature is that I will, I. I get bored very easily. So I always want to do new stuff, maybe too. My dad said, I treat YouTube as I do my podcast listening. I watch only those I subscribe to and will watch videos first when they pop out from the subscription view, titles, thumbnails. Okay, so, That's interesting. yeah. I, I, I do know dad is old school with that. Like, likes the idea of, I subscribe to you, therefore I will watch all your videos. But, um, yeah, I, I think that's... If you look at the tra the traffic that comes from the subscription feed, it's like like under two percent. Yeah, and, and they will get rid of, they will get rid of that page at some point. I'm convinced, which is a shame because I like it because that's the space that I curate, and I like yeah. I, you know. But what's the biggest platform right now? Probably TikTok. TikTok, you don't even get a choice in what you watch, really. No, this pops up with the FYP. I think Kate had a question there, Callum, on what makes what makes a good video editor. Hmm. It's I'm, I'm going to box, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm getting in the car. Cool. Um, I'd say, very briefly, understanding of the story. Uh, no, oh, it's hard. Like, being a YouTube editor, it's like, lots of people you get, right? I see this when people apply for jobs with us, and you get a showreel, and it's like a supposedly cinematic shots of a car, like like moving a camera around a car and cutting it together to loud music is like that's not, that shows almost no skill in editing um you want Ooh. someone who can like understand story and uh edit for that edit for visual um kind of yeah, 56, 56 of optionals by the way i think we'll let it Mate. down but yeah i don't know where that <laughs> you did a good job <laughs> okay yeah. i'm not gonna take all of those I say do, do whatever you want with that. Uh, let me check what the tyres were like as well. Welcome, Kia. I'm just going to crack on, I think. Yeah, front left was 66, so I think... Well, yeah, quite change it. Nice. Oh, is that an Audi head of you? Yeah, it looks like it. Also, if you're going to apply for a job as a YouTube editor, send in YouTube videos you've edited, even if they're your own. Yeah. When people send in, like, oh, this is my show reel, it almost means nothing. Yeah. Um, your dad has thanked you for telling him he's old school. Well, he is old school. <laughs> well, fancy. Yeah, I've, I've worked with a few different editors. Um, and I will say this, actually, what it reminds me, one person I need to get back to you actually edited a video for me. I said, look, yeah. here's an example. And I, that, I need to go back and be like, 
it, it, in my it, it wouldn't have worked for my channel but i really appreciate the you know doing that but a lot yeah. of them i don't know everyone in the f1 space uses the same thumbnail guy pretty much <laughs> yeah yeah um <laughs> And I've used him a couple of times, and, it, and it's a, I don't know how I feel about it, because he's very good at what he does, but it's a very similar style. He does one thing for everyone. Yeah, and it's, for him, it's absolutely great, and I wish him all success, and I was, I'll still work with him. Um, I've worked with an editor on a few videos. People might have known the ones that have subtitles are kind of meme and he's really fun to work with. His English is not very good, so quite a painful process. Um, I do think I need to there was a point where I was really focused on my limitation my limiting factor right now is time I need to be like um, if I get back into that the idea that you record something send it to an editor and then while they're editing it you're planning Doing and recording yeah. yeah that's what I need to get more into um, but I, I was I was very unusual on my channel this time last year I was hosting on my channel content made by Kyle content made by Jay who was doing track guides, content made by Nida who was doing drifting guides which is like a really insane process to do to like work was with Was that good for the channel? <sighs> Difficult it's to say say. It's hard to say because the, the drifting stuff to, to this day does very well. It's, it just is the top ranked set, uh, drifting in Gran Turismo content. I think at the time people were confused, like seeing. Uh, why they're not curious? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and for example, the track guide. No one watches the track guides now, even though they're arguably just as valid for people yeah. joining. I need to do a better job in like, you know, discovery there. But it's difficult to say. But I'll, for the purely for the channel, it's difficult to say. But for my development. And I think for also our collaboration, I think it was absolutely priceless. Like working with people, sounding stuff out, you know, getting feedback both ways on stuff was yeah. absolutely priceless. Um, in the same way that when I did the Team Rock stuff with Ollie and Rory, was it good for my channel? I don't know, because the opportunity cost was doing Gran Turismo stuff that I was getting more views on. But again working I with discovered you through that though well yeah 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 there's there's um some of the streams were good but I think by far the biggest benefit was working with like fellow YouTubers and chatting about stuff and a bit like how we do on these streams actually it's, um you would lose a lot without I don't know if you've heard um Mr oh well, Grace I don't know if you've heard Mr Beast's story but yeah. when he was growing up he said he let me just check what's going on here yeah stay left Oh, nice. That's how you do it. Reverse of time. I think it was that like, Audi that we came head. out with. That was it. Um, so he's, he says when he was starting out on YouTube, he would be on Skype calls with his mates for like all day and they would just watch and talk about YouTube videos. Yeah. And his view is that they were all going out and making videos and his philosophy is you only learn by your mistakes. So if yeah. you're one person, you'll make one person's amount of mistakes. But because they were like seven or eight of them, they were making eight times the amount of mistakes and learning from them. It's an interesting concept. I just, I find YouTube fascinating. It's like, we're, we're at this sort of point where anyone in the world who has a mobile phone is able pretty much to start a YouTube channel and can start, can start earning from it and stuff like that. But I feel like we're at such early stages of what it means for YouTubers like as a business, as you know, all the stuff about creative economy. This car looks like a handful. It is. <laughs> Still not warm yet. I started pushing as if it was warm, and that was my mistake. Uh, welcome, Jurassic Jam. But yeah, I'm, I'm fascinated. I've, I think for three years now, I've been doing it and. I consume so much stuff about YouTube and like the creator economy and by the way how have you not burned out yet that's a big question I have for you because you pump I was watching your channel the other day and you were like you put out four videos in a day yeah I was like how are you doing that honestly I don't I think I'm just so passionate about it 
Yeah. Because um, I, I only made short videos on TikTok, right? Yeah. And I, I would make like seven or eight in a go and post them over the week. And I, I burnt out after four months. I think... And I, I, to a point where I don't really want to go back. I think it's almost inevitable I will burn out in the future. Because the amount of content I do is, is too high. But when you really enjoy what you do, it doesn't feel like work. Yeah. It just feels like having fun. But as soon as that changes... And I have noticed the more that I work with brands, which is good for the channel because exposure, they also pay, that goes back into the channel. It feels yeah. more like work. And yeah. I did like a few really big brand activations since in this start of this year. And I was starting to feel tired and now I feel freed again because I'm not really doing any like big brand stuff right now. But yeah, burnout is a tricky, I, I look at, I'm very, I look at people all the time and I think, oh, are they starting to get burnt out? Um, it's tricky. But again, it comes down to my thing, Callum, about one person. Like, back in the day, you know, to do, to do what we're doing now, 10 years ago, it would have to be on TV. There would be a producer, there would be a scriptwriter, there'd be runners, there'd be talent, there'd yeah. be all these people. There'd be, you know, and we kind of condense it into just us two producing and directing and doing everything here but it's intense yeah. isn't it but what's going are you am i full no i'm not full time youtube i'm doing my spare time but that's the thing i it also frees me in my spare time because if i don't want to do it i don't need to um but kind of i don't think driver 61 do a lot of short form content unless i've missed it i don't know if that's deliberate no we've avoided it so far is that because you're We're looking into it while the shorts feed and the main feed were kind of the same at one point, like the algorithm was treating them as similar. Yeah, that, and that um, hurt my channel. We didn't want to touch it. that. And then now they've though. like basically treated it, from what I can see in the back end, as like completely different thing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure though. Yeah. I still think yeah. we, people get recommended. We don't want the fast like. It's good for, you know growing your channel but in terms of what we want which is views and ultimately funding a business yeah it's not been so what, what i would say my context is i hit shorts really hard when it first launched back in 2020 2021 yeah we might have spoke because we uh, we i might have done some shorts with our races i can't remember um and at that time it was absolutely disastrous because the back end was so simple it would view oh let me check behind you it would view all of your watch time as going down yeah. So it would assume people don't really like this channel anymore because they're only watching for 30 seconds. So that was, yeah, but the video is 40 seconds. <laughs> yeah, but that was terrible and I stopped. Then I started again a few months ago, not really because of the monetization, but more because I'd seen some of my shorts were getting into hundreds of thousands. But then I get what I think happens now, to your point, is that people who watch your long form content get recommended a short. And I think sometimes instead of your long-form content mm. um, and I've definitely noticed since about two three weeks ago I stopped po I haven't posted the short in about two three weeks and I was posting yeah. shorts twice or three times a day for about a month in January and my channel is so much more healthier now on every single metric so I would say if you're gonna start a channel from scratch the quickest way to grow in probably most metrics is shorts but yeah. if you already have a viewer base and you can keep people engaged and offer value for longer than 60 seconds, I would just do a TikTok on the side. For us, the upside hasn't been worth it. At the moment, we're we're doing lots on Instagram. I'm trying to... Uh, a lot of the Caterham stuff is going to be on Instagram as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. We're focusing on that for now. We're not touching shorts. Well, we might do some on, on Driver 61, but they'll be written as shorts, like yeah. you've made custom for the shorts. The, the other thing about a short, I, th I don't want to blame my trumpet, but I think I got quite good at shorts, like in terms mm. of all my shorts would be viewed more than 100%. So they were viewed ah, like 150% okay. and stuff like that. So, and I've, I felt like I was just playing a game to... Re to I, I felt I'd be really interested to hear people's thoughts in the comments who've watched my shorts. I felt like I was just playing a game to keep people watching my video without really offering what I perceived as value. And so okay. all my stuff on PSVR 2 where I've said, 
look, this is what to expect. Don't expect this. This is what it's actually like. If you like this, you'll like blah, blah, blah. I feel like that offers much more value. That keeps me more fulfilled. Yeah. Whereas I know I could churn out three shorts a day and they would all do really well. But so what? I just feel like I'm putting coal in the fire of like the short form algorithm. That was kind of my issue. But that's me as like a personal creator, not as a business. If you asked me if I, if I did three shorts a day for a year and that would grow me to 200,000 subscribers, I'd say yes, absolutely, because at 200,000 subscribers I could reach out to more brands and then get more like opportunities to do that bigger stuff. Yeah. But I don't really see it as the end goal. Brad says shorts. Oh, Matt Joyce has ripped to, the, to your race. Uh, I saw him just disconnect. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry to hear that, Matt. Got no one else in the car that can jump in. Oh, they manually disconnect. I think he, they may have died. Oh, oh I did hide to us. Did he have a crash then, Matt? Yeah, that was in, in the barrier early on. Oh, no, no, no. Lap one in the Porsche curves. Damn. Cell spin lap one, lap four drafted into a barrier, then had a dude reverse back to us and racing on the cleaners out. Wow, we were almost there with you, Matt. <laughs> uh, right, we kind of... I th do, you, do you want me to give you sit reps? Okay. I'll wait till you on the straight. <laughs> This car doesn't like that curb there. Hmm. I can't work out whether this is a high downfall or low downfall set, to be honest. Because to Middling, me, it, it doesn't feel great in the Porsche curves. It doesn't no. have that turn in, and but then also we get past them. Right. right, let me tell you what's going on. So... Car ahead of us doing 357s. Oh, there's a crash at the next chicane exit. Good news! <laughs> Let me try and find it. Oh, oh it's yeah. a back marker. It's, it's a, a guy. With, it's a guy. Oh, yes, yeah, that guy with no boot. It's Mr. Allmark. I think he's crabbing a bit as well. Crab, crab emojis. Yeah. Um, anyway, car ahead of that car is 358. 57, 57, 59, 58, 59. So 58, 59 is ahead of us. Um, I'm overdriving this car at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I, that can't be a bit Doesn't feel confidence inspiring, does it? No. There's quite a few battles going on ahead of us, which is good. Um, so we got some responses from the chat. Thanks, everyone. The shorts were Kia says the shorts were nice. Kia is a member. SWC, I like your videos. I do not like the shorts, and they do come up for long content. Blacker doesn't like them in general. I'm more interested in the story around the topic. Brad, not your shorts. I like your content and what you're building. Some channels are just over-indexed on them. Olivier, I disabled shorts altogether on my YouTube. Made me feel a lot more relaxed after that. Shorts just make me nervous. I get like that on TikTok. There's been times where I've just ha I've been off TikTok for months. Mm. It becomes... I feel like it is... It creates a, a space in my brain that I don't necessarily want to give it. And that space in my brain just swirls with like the latest meme sounds and dances and all that stuff. It's a very good product though. Damn, it's a good product. Welcome mm. Uncle Tashi, good to see you. Uncle Tashi with a 24 month badge. Thank you so much Uncle Tashi. It's insane support. Uncle Tashi, we're asking what do you make about YouTube shorts? But, but you. you can see Callum why YouTube had to do it because they're so worried about TikTok, right? Yeah. Just like, they're doing it wrong if as a creator we're not interested. I'm not. 
Well, they tried. They they wanted to get people incentivized to do it on a monetary basis, but that just hasn't worked because I advertise on shorts, by the way. Do you? Yeah. Do you know why? Why? Because I got paid 9p for a million views on shorts, so I thought, okay, I'll pay 9p and I'll get viewed a million times. <laughs> it hasn't quite worked like that. I'm still working out the vagaries of advertising, but... Um, yeah, they, it just hasn't... I think it's a really good point, kind of, because... It's all still so new right on TikTok, but I, the idea is, I feel like you're so replaceable as a shorts creator. Because your yeah. content is just a commod, it's a generic commodity. There's not enough time to establish like connection. Yeah. It's a bit like I see someone on my shorts and TikTok all the time who's the um, lady who does skipping. Oh yeah. She's called Lauren Jumps. Now, there's literally now. She, I, I looked into her. She, she's done some stuff separately. But purely on the short form content, there's nothing that that is so replaceable to me. You could swap her with anyone. Exactly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You know. Now, as it happens, she is an entrepreneur. She's like creating the app that's like helping people to skip and all this stuff. So she's really, you can see, trying to do a very good thing and create that business for herself. But if, we yeah. if she was to purely stay within vertical format, as you said, there could be someone else who comes and just takes it slight to the next level, you know? Bin Janif, thank you so much for the AED 25... 25? I don't know what AED... Is that Dirham or something? Love your uh, channel. Wish she more PSVR 2 with Classic Car 27. Good luck, mate, and cheers. Thank you so much, Bin Janif. Let us know where AED is from. I don't know. AED 25. Yeah, awesome. Nice profile picture as well. Uncle Tash says, I seem to lose myself in shorts. I refuse to download TikTok. I don't like how much they want to have Well, it is being banned at the moment in governments, but Callum and I are both on TikTok. I mean, Callum, you're... I don't know what it's like now, but you were definitely one of the biggest sim racing TikTok creators, right? At one point, I was the biggest iRacing creator by by a, a way. I wasn't biggest sim racing. There's like okay. some on there with a couple of million followers. To do mad views but it's mostly forza like forza horizon stuff that's interesting um yeah i just ran out of steam was it at the same time as your internet stuff with the live streams i know you live stream tiktok it's a bit after that because i sort of stopped live streaming and then pushed on tiktok yeah because i couldn't live stream but uh yeah i i also a couple of months ago got I did a, a deal for full videos or whatever it was with the crew the crew yeah. and I enjoyed doing that and that was good and I put that money directly into motorsport and it's been really helpful nice um but and that's the first time I've seen any real money from t you know all that work I did yeah so there's burnout plus also you know no real way of monetizing what I was doing and so I was just like nah yeah God, there's so many interesting concepts here, isn't it? It's like... Yeah. The vast majority of time I've been streaming, the amount of time I spend it is... I would I would earn more money going to Sainsbury's or Audi. Yeah. Days. But it's... But going to Audi and being in the warehouse is very different to enjoying sim racing and enjoying content production, but... Oh, yeah. It's some interesting concepts. There is a thing as... Such a thing as being paid in fun. I say this a lot, like, if you enjoy your job, then, yeah. Well, I'm doing something late in this year. I'm, I'm going to be driving a car, a race car. Oh, yeah. With a brand, yeah, abroad. Nice. So I'm going to be going abroad, driving a race car, creating content with, you know, featuring the brand. But I'm not, not being paid anything. How I work that out with my accountant, I don't know, actually, but I'm not being paid anything. And I was thinking, should I ask to get a payment? <laughs> But then I was thought... Oh, you could charge on. a day rate for that. I could, but then I thought, hang on. I'm going to be flown out to drive a race car. And... Yeah, I, maybe my view will change in the future, but I very much viewed that as... Oh, Team Happy Life had a visit, seems. Yeah, I was just about to say Team Happy Life <laughs> alert. <laughs> Get out my way! But I viewed that as a sort of... That is a fun thing to do, so.
Yeah, Would you, you mind saying thank you to them? I just flashed the hell out of them. No, that's to get them to oh. move. All right, let me say. Is it Andre? Yeah. Yeah, welcome over in the chat. Saturday evening in the UK. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. Good to see. iRacing is a very, very, very international sport. It's not like in Gran Turismo daily races at the top. You see, it's like half British flags. This is um. Yeah, all over the place. It's, it's they don't do what Gran Turismo do right in that they batch you up into continents. Which is interesting, right? Because you, there's more cars. You feel like there's more. I racing gets like terrible netcode reputation, but that is the point. Is you are racing. Hello. We've got Canada in the chat. Very nice. Very 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 nice. So Canada, your last few laps have been faster than most people ahead of you, and we're now in P30. So. Jeez. Oh, good save. I got <laughs> caught on the curve. It looked like that, yeah. Oh, that was a weird Long. glitch. It's it's quite no a... Frank, don't do it. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, here he comes. Come on, Corey, you should know it. He's going off. It's quite a fun car to drive, isn't it? But it's like it gives you some scary moments. You got you got a really nice position. Latvia, Malaysia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Olivia's saying we've moved up 10 places in about 30 minutes. Oh, oh man, was that a late move by him? New Zealand, Croatia. Thanks, LD. Glad to enjoy the content. Come on, car! <laughs> I want to get him back. What times has he done the last few laps? Let me find out. Bear with me. Uh, Frank. Is he just quicker than me? I can't tell because they're all dash laps apart from a, th a 3.58. Everyone's getting slowed down. He's just spending his off tracks then. Yeah. It's so um, hard to do this in the dirt, yeah. You know the car that I was behind that Porsche for most of my stint? Yeah. He's just going over start finish line now. Okay. That's kind of where we are in relation to them. Come on. Uh, two cars in the... Oh, lots of cars in the pits, Callum. Get... All right. Wow. Cars in the pits as well. Say hello to Tyler. Mm. I would have been. Oh, do you think, Callum, people are doing the um, 45 minute to 45s or something? Maybe. Actually, maths doesn't quite add up, but something like that. I'm sure people have clever strategies. Splitting the splash and dash. Yeah. But I do believe we're up to P29 now. Albeit it might be out of sync on the stops. This guy got more downforce on or something. Like, he's just... Maybe he's just quicker, but he's just quicker! <laughs> can't, can't possibly be the drivers. I don't know, man. I don't know, I, I don't know where this car's particularly good on this track. Oh, I did the race and just got murdered. Let you were the triple. You were seven five seven or something at Indianapolis. Let us know what happens. We can review it. Come on, slipstream. Should be in it. This guy's quick. Let me see where they started. He doesn't drive like a 1.9k driver. Uh, 
Well, they gridded. They they started one position ahead of us. They started P40. So. Don't know. Oh, you were in the car. Right. Oh, oh, that's why Carl's in the pits. Let's have a look what happened to Kyle. Man like Kyle, let's see. What's happened here at Indianapolis? Looks like Arnage. Oh, Carl did the same thing at me as I. I oh, before, okay. Oh, oh, no. He had to give it up to you up here. No sense in wrecking. It's a kind of what happened to Carl. Carl. There was a car rejoining in the middle of Indianapolis, that really fast right hander. Oh, dear. On the apex, and Carl just like, just grazed him. Smashed the barrier. But then this one is very similar to what I did. I wonder if it's on the grass. Maybe. Damn. So let's see. That was a terrible region. Hopefully you guys will go again, mate. Caused by Castrol Racing Team. Castrol Racing Team. One to avoid. We always seem to be in and around this guy, don't we? <laughs> yeah. He's obviously got a lighter car than us. <laughs> no boot lid. I'm sure that must have happened one time in like touring cars or something where one driver's been like, I'm just gonna get some damn, I'm gonna just gesture something in my car. I remember I did a skip barber race with Scott and yeah. he got rear ended and lost his rear wing and yeah. then was like a second quicker. Okay. <laughs> in a way, that's great. Okay, hopefully this guy's great. I think to be Are fair, you... he, he was in a difficult, he was coming out of the pits. So I think he did. Yeah, I know, it's just like. <laughs> hard. I'm not saying it was particularly his fault, I was no, just no, scared. No, it was sketchy, yeah. Between. Come here, Tobias, you're mine. <laughs> Let's see what we do here. Bin Jalif says, question, I just got two Group 3 CA4, Group 3 cars. Is that GT7 or high racing? Looking nice. Looking good. I think you and Frank, Callum, are really catching people ahead. Oh yeah, your 56.5 lap time is... The guy in 26 is at a full minute. So you just took four seconds out of him. I think... Am I in the toe? I'm going faster. Come on. I think you're doing top 20 pace right now. The guy ahead of you did 55, so you two are just. You're actually your pace is faster than the leaders. The leaders are doing 56 and 58s. Good news. Yeah. Now we're into slipstream. Come on. Might be one of these things with the damage light. As it gets lighter, it just gets quite a bit faster. Oh yeah, forget we've got damage. Doesn't feel like there's any. Yeah, I didn't really notice the difference from me driving before and all. Um, Bin Jalif, I just got Miss. I like Mercedes. Did I make a bad move buying Mercedes LS and Lamborghini? It depends what you want to do in GT7. If you just want to drive cars, then you can't really make a mistake. And if you want to race online, these days in GT7, you can rent any car you want. So I wouldn't say that's a mistake at all. 
A-Man says, do you think iRacing has more grip than ACC? ACC, I slide a lot laterally on the tyres. Um, and the tyres go out of their window a lot easier, it seems. I would say. Oh, this guy behind. It's dead. I can run wide. He's close enough to read the please no kill sticker, so he's got no excuse. <laughs> Wouldn't it be awesome to have a grandstand here? Yeah, they should. It's yeah. the best bit of a trap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to be fair, there's not that many grandstands at the moment. Think about it, are there? No, it's basically the start finish straight, right? Yeah. I suppose you want to see the hustle bus. I mean, I've never watched a 24 hour endurance race, so. What? Really? As in, like, in person? Oh, okay. I've, I've... I am a super. I'm a super nerd in that when I'm working and doing thumbnails, you have it in I background. will. Yeah, but I'll re, re watch, like, a 24 hour race over the course uh... of, like, a month. Almost like a series. Yeah. Nice. Are they so, like, I'm watching like, 17 on at the moment. Are they packaged on anywhere? Nice. Are they on, like, any nice, good quality? No, I just watch it on YouTube. Oh. WEC put up a... They're quite good, actually. They put up, like, full-length free plays. I'm amazed how low-key, like, the radio... Is it Radio Le Monde broadcasts are? They're such good quality. Yeah. And, like, it's impossible to find. It seems like you're pirating it. But it's actually like no, it's it's <laughs> official. Yeah, there's such good commentators in endurance racing. Like they're just people who like are really, really, really good at what they do. Yeah, feels more, um, feels less glossy and overproduced than F1. Yeah, I mean, I I rate the commentators higher than the F1 commentators, but oh, when I went to the F1 arcade, uh, Crofty was there. Oh really? Yeah. What did you think? Did you get to meet him? But he was he was there. I didn't chat. With him. It would have been a bit. I went up the stairs with David Coulthard. Did you? And I had my GoPro because I was re I was ready to record. And I said, I had my GoPro in front of me like a YouTube. I was like, Hey David, are you excited? And he was like, Should we go? Should we go up and like take our coats off? <laughs> he just was not impressed. Oh. Because he was there and they did a race with him and Mika. Was he um, really bad? Uh, I can't remember. The sims are a bit weird there because they're like automatic. And they weren't really... S it was very controversial because I'd book tickets with my own money to go on launch day. Like as soon as mm. it opened, I booked tickets. They then cancelled everyone's launch day tickets and pushed back the launch for a few weeks, which was really controversial. Mm. Then I got invited through Veloci to a launch night party on the day that I'd have my tickets cancelled. <laughs> so hey. it was a bit controversial. And basically, it'd been, it'd been, the launch had been pushed back because Sims weren't quite ready. But the yeah. whole the whole event was just to, like, you know, show it off. Like, Sky, obviously, Sky Sports were there. But I saw... Was it um, Aldas and oh, Tomo yeah. did a show there, did you see? Mm-hmm. Interesting concept. I rate it. Yeah, I just missed out on tickets actually i wanted to go i think that kind of stuff branching just also being able to i don't say it's below but to be able to offer something of value where people will pay you directly is very it's a very sort of powerful step to yeah taking yourself to the next level people really enjoyed it and they were they I'm glad it was a success because they said we're going to do this and people said yes we'll support you by buying tickets and this is all kind of worked and everyone's happy that'll start an avalanche I think now of those sorts of things yeah well WTF when you do them right oh I, I can see to... like the last lap doing the last lap live I need to send you a link to Karun Chandok's karting race at at, um, at uh, Wilton Mill Oh yeah, it's like so reasonably priced. 
it's unreal. Is it? How much? I can't. I feel like it's like two hundred for the team, and you get three hours or something. Is that? Ridiculous? Oh really? It was ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, I'm game for that. Okay, I need to find if that I'm link to see if it's. Ready. Yeah. Because I don't think we us two have never done one, right? Like, no. We always wanted. Loads of money. <laughs> yeah. There was. A, yeah. Do you remember one of them was like they never really got back to it? It's a bit weird. Yeah. But I did do one with two of my mates from Club One Hundred. We went to the James Hunt one, which was quite good. In fact, my mate I went with, he won the cart. He won the simulator competition. He won a signed Lando Norris helmet. It's probably, oh, really? It's probably going to be worth thousands. Yeah. But he knew like. Part of the reason he went, I think, because he knew that competition was happening, and he was like, "I am going to be the fastest." <laughs> so he just, and then he went there, and he was the fastest. Oh no! Off track. So yeah. Long. That's alright. You got no one. Ball marks five point one behind. What the thing is, I was closing, and I'm four, five tenths up on my lap time. I think the bigger thing is you, you, you both are closing down. <laughs> both of you just did your fastest laps, right? Fifty-five point eight. Mm. Three, sorry. Um, That's quick. It is fast. quick. Yeah, yeah. That's faster than P3. I mean, P26 did a 401.4. So this is like you're like screaming into the top 20. Yeah, that's Nathan. Did he just get slowed up? A guy ahead of you. Yeah. I don't know. Find out. Looks like he just waited for me. <laughs> <laughs> if you are the same gap, I bet, yeah. I can't see your fuel, by the way. Ah, I've got three laps left. Okay. But yeah, I think, I don't know if I said to you, but in COVID times, also when we were coming out of okay, COVID, I remember saying to you, I think, that I think a lot of stuff is going to just open up now with events and things yeah. like that. There's a lot of pent up energy and like, growth that hasn't been externalized so stuff like that mm -hmm. podcast was a good example i'm going to go down to Vlochi in a few weeks actually and see have like a tour there and um the idea is see what i can kind of do with all that stuff they have interesting so i haven't really done too much them so far to us also uh, traditional media I've, I've been invited to do an interview with the Daily Telegraph. Nice. What, for uh, over, on behalf of Overdrive? Yeah, for the catering stuff. Nice. I was like, wow, it's been, like picked up by the Daily Telegraph. You can buy all those newspapers and give them to your <laughs> friends and family. Exactly. Look, there's me. <laughs> oh, what's he doing there? Taking a, so you're on the right. taking a slow or something. You're absolutely, yeah, destroying everyone ahead of you. Yeah. That's awesome. But yeah, it's, it's just like a team's call. But yeah, we'll see what that ends up being. Nice. Do you, do you guys on 61 and Overdrive have any ambitions to... Um, I don't know what the word is, published through traditional media, or do you just see... No. Because you're, di you're basically direct... In business terms, you're like... We, we want to be the biggest, mot like, motoring channel on YouTube. That's our goal. But do you... It's a big goal, but that's you, our goal. Do you have... Do you think that's risky to put your eggs in the YouTube basket? No. Well, like, what if YouTube well, had a scandal tomorrow and, like... Yeah, yeah, maybe. But internet media will live on. Yeah. So you were just... You fine. know, like, when Vine died, everyone moved. And they were okay. I guess. I, I guess some people. Yeah, I. I assume some people wouldn't have been able to grow, but I, and I assume some people that already had YouTube channels were in a better place. Um, I think a lot of people. I think we. I think a lot of us are probably too much in the camp that YouTube is always going to be here, and I'm. Yeah. You know, like the but CEO's I think if we, are, like, let's say YouTube died tomorrow, the first thing I would probably do yeah. is upload everything to Patreon. Yeah. And then you at least could hold on to some people and hold on to some income and that sort of thing. Um, and then someone else would fill that void you with know the, something you know similar. The irony. I mean, Twitter, Twitter's died, right? And Mastodon has popped out of nowhere and 
numbers are growing insanely on there. You know, the irony um, is, I think if that were to happen, I think a lot of people would actually do better on Patreon. Yep. <laughs> the teammate is very shouty. Thank you. That might smoke. I think your audio is like super loud on my screen. Mate. Oh, we get side by side. Oh, nice. Absolutely dominated him there. <laughs> nice one. It's good to have battles, isn't it? That's yeah. what racing's about. <laughs> Show me you're crazy. <laughs> you're gaining on this guy ahead. Yeah, you're gonna have to do that in real life now, aren't you? In your catering. <laughs> Show me you're crazy. That's the thing you want to do in practice, is just like be completely unhinged. Yeah. So everyone's like, right, we'll stay out of the way of that, that guy. Yeah, Dixie said, good move for a catering driver. <laughs> Who said? Addicted to racing. I think that was uh, Nick and Carl's team. Yeah, I've, I've never done a patron or anything like that, but I think... I don't know, I think there's going to be so many evolutions. If if you want to be a con per involved in content creation, then the mediums in which that is um, made available to viewers, I think is always going to evolve. Mm. In my view. And in the same way Twitter has completely changed, right? Something similar could happen to YouTube. They could do something really unpopular or... I don't yeah. know, so... You know you can you can post um, long videos on Twitter now. Yeah, I've never done it yet. I probably should just find a, a video and upload it. And see, are they paying for it? I think they always talk about paying, but no one, no other platform has a model like YouTube in terms of payment and yeah. like that uh, advertisers being on board. So I just uh, it wouldn't it would be meaningless. Been saying Rumble is the future. Not sure about, not sure about that. A lot of these new platforms are always geared around gambling or like other vices, which make them less attractive to advertisers. Makes them more attractive to some creators. Like, oh, you can do gambling streams, or you can do, you know, not safe for work streams. But advertisers are more interested in that. I do think. I don't know what you think about this kind. Of, it's like. The internet has really evolved around the concepts. Slow down. Yeah. Damn it! It's gonna come out again. I was gaining. Oh, we're gonna get a position in the pits, but we're gonna be pitting, I think. Let me just double check. Yeah, next lap. This lap, sorry. This lap, okay. I'll get ready. We're gonna get full fuel and all tyres. Um, the internet has really evolved based with a backbone on advertising right mm. and what that means is if you want to make money on the internet you need to satisfy as people you need to get eyeballs on what you're doing because yeah. those eye advertisers can then get from those eyeballs and that means that we probably often compromise on this guy can Get that Ferrari slip. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm after. Thank you, Ferrari. If he moves across now, it'll be the ultimate betrayal. He's kind of staying over here late, isn't he? He's like he prefers us. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, nice. He's backed out behind him. Never back down. Um... So it, you, we, we probably compromise on like telling slower stories or more in depth or whatever because it's about attention. Yeah. It's about attention because advertising. And I do wonder. I mean, like, yeah. Sorry, I was going to say Drive to Survive wouldn't work on YouTube. Yeah, it's a massive hit because of the way Netflix is structured. Do, do you see what I'm saying? I kind of like, see what you're saying, but I also think because it's able to be effectively serialized. You know, like back in the day, books were serialized in newspapers and stuff like that. 
Drive to Survive is essentially serialized in short form content. Yeah. Um, uh, but this is a good point because it's, ne it's not based on advertising. But the internet really is. But with all this stuff like tw you know Twitter subscriptions, I think now you have like Facebook subscriptions. YouTube might do a similar thing, Callum. I don't know. Like subscribe for like 4K content or stuff like that. And um, it might be moving more towards uh, less on advertising and more like these platforms want people to play pay directly. Mm. And that's going to be very controversial because we've grown up in an age where everything is free because advertising is a backbone. We might move to a space where things are not really free. Like on Twitter, you need to pay now to have some form of two-factor verification. That's so silly. And stuff like that. So, But I wonder what the effect is on content. Because if you no longer need to worry about advertisers, then I think that will have a change on the kind of, you know, the flow of content. We have to work it out. God, he says, bring back MySpace. Right, you ready? Yep, ready, ready, ready. Amazing stint. I think you've gone from 30 something, probably high 30s, to 23. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. And the pace, those 355s were just. I want to send it before the pit lane. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to. Well, don't pay. send it on the left hand side. <laughs> No, did he die? Uh, not your fault, I think. Okay, well, I'll have a look at it. <laughs> I was trying to avoid him. He, like, wobbled on the exit. Yeah. Pitbox team, 10. Apologies to whoever that was. It was right early Five. last time, wasn't it? Yeah, it's really early. Yeah, I don't, know, is, I don't so. know why it was so early. One. Right here. Barely in the pit. <laughs> Oh, I think the same time as our guy. Sorry, I'm just going to look at that shot. Yeah. I, th I think he had a wobble and lifted or something. Yeah, I... There's nothing, yeah, he had there's a wobble, nothing you can do. Down, I went around nothing him. you can do at that point. So. I'm going to apologise. Yeah. I wouldn't feel bad about it. Go. Why is there a character like this? Hope you're enjoying it, everyone. Please, please, please hit that like button if you are. Um, get to a hundred lives. That would be that would make us feel free. Ah, oh, limiter off. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do a lap at sixty kph. <laughs> Right, let's go. Yep. Careful of the tyres and the fuel. I found for two full laps it was a bit of a handful. Okay. There's a guy ahead with the most interesting name I've ever seen. L Leon Ekris. No, two ahead of him. Twan Pole Blinder. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome name. I've never heard the name Twan before. Or a Bowl Wender. Does anyone in chat know where that's where that originates from? Inter saying you turned left into a right into a left hand or something. Yeah, it's just it's, I've been I had a moment like that in I racing on Wednesday actually, didn't I? At Daytona. First corner. I was it's a left-handed corner, but I had a moment I counted right and Oh, I put you in the barrier. 
where a car was behind me, so... Mm. People think it's Dutch, Zimbabwe, South African maybe or something? Twan is a anagram of want. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my. You gotta love a one out of ten, that's a good moment. If you video. Yeah. Alright, you get this fireworks. Not quite. It's two hundred twenty K views an hour. Nice. Go on. Go on. You ever hit, get on the uh, trending page? Um, we did when we posted like stuff about the races. That happened a lot. I think, yeah, the trending is like what are people talking about, isn't it? It's like what's fresh, what's in the news, yeah. what's... Um, so yeah, not so much anymore. Not in a while, actually. But like back when we were doing content in 2021 obviously that season was ridiculous yeah um oh yeah every week we we're on the trending page nice yeah now it's not so much because like our content doesn't trend it's just sort of like very long-legged at the moment we're finding that's a good thing though to have that tail isn't it yeah 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 totally for, for money definitely um it does they don't have the sort of meteoric rise they you know take off slower but then keep going Did like you... that sim race video yeah. against James Baldwin, you know that one we did like oh, that two pops years up all ago. All the time, it's still doing so strong. Like you, cha you changed something on that, didn't you? Uh, no. Oh, I thought you did. We're debating doing another one. Well, it worked really well. Let's see where we're at now. So you can no longer be the pleb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we need fact, a new you're pleb. You're going to be upgraded. <laughs> you're going to be the. Uh, <laughs> the cycle. Thing is now, because I spend more time on eye racing, like I am quicker than Scott. Obviously, if he put in enough practice, he'd be quicker, yeah. right? You know, if, if you gave us a random track, random car, and gave us each exactly the same amount of time, like you know, forty-five minutes practice, Scott would be, yeah. you know, I'd say half half second quicker than me. Yeah. But if you said like go now, because I know the tracks and the cars, like yeah. I, I am quicker. But yeah. James is just naturally faster than anything. He's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Where has he gone? Oh, he's gone to the Rensport thing, hasn't he? With he left Veloci. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's driving... racing just with Mercedes now. Ah, okay. But behind the scenes, I don't know what he runs that team behind the scenes. Yeah. Probably some esports team actually runs it. But... Yeah, he should get. He's the perfect person to do real world and sim racing, isn't it? Yeah. I know he was he's out with LP. Yeah, I watched that video. That was great. I need to get one of those. He's got one of those, like, um, cameras that goes inside your helmet. Oh, is it the cam box? Just by your eyebrows, yeah. 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 I want to get one of those. Yeah, they're banned in my series, but they're pretty good. It's a good idea. Oh, are they? Yeah. Maybe I should check that. Why? On safety grounds? Um, in a second. I suppose so nothing when should I was, really Yeah, so back in the day in Club 100, everything was allowed. And then Club 100 became a motorsport UK affiliated thing. It's like, so basically on the feed is an F1 sort of mm. thing. And they t they had to take a rule book. And the MS UK rule book says no, no nothing may be affixed to a, a helmet. Um, uh, okay, so that would be the case with me then. I need to check the rule book. Yeah, see. See. I am allowed to, which I'm surprised by. Yeah. I am allowed to mount GoPros above the roll cage, and, like sticking up. Because it's a danger to, if it falls off, to other people. Yeah, I, I thought, yeah, as long as you... Um, if it's on a sticky mount or a suction mount, you have to have a second fixing, right? So like a cable tie to catch it if it falls off. Yeah. So it doesn't like roll down the track. 
But if it's on, like, I've bought these, um, they're actually like motorbike, like, handlebar mounts. They're yeah. like, like, hose clamp type vibe. Yeah, yeah I see um, And they say, yeah, as long as those are on nylock nuts and you do them up tight, like, and it's on there, then crack yeah, on. Yeah, that, that might like, sound wow. right, because the same in Club 100, like, then they move the mounts to the carts with a, um, with a cable, with a tie it as a backup. But the irony yeah. is, my camera fell off so my 360 fell off so many times because it just vibrates around too much in that mount whereas when it's on your neck because you have it on your neck yeah. it ha it's a suspension basically so yeah yeah definitely yeah. but I use a GoPro now for my karting anyway just the 360 was just too much hassle oh yeah I found that I put the 360 on for that um, track that I did and it's almost unusable Sometimes it's nice to do something a bit different, but GoPros are just GoPros. With this, like. Oh yeah, we use loads. We've got like 14 GoPros. Nice. How are you finding PSVR? Yeah, because obviously it. I'm not in that space. Like, I'd, you know, Gran Turismo. I don't. So play I don't it, know if so. you know what the controversy is about. But no, crack on. So, so I, I, when I started streaming, I streamed in PSVR 1. Mm. Uh, I didn't have a monitor or TV. I just had my PlayStation Challenge, a PS4 underneath it, and a PSVR 1. Mm. And I used to play in PSVR 1 all the time. So I, I kind of knew to expect. Now, so when I put PSVR 2 on, I was like, oh, this is a better version of PSVR 1. But it's still really muddy and grainy, and it's, the graphics are not as good. But when everyone was reviewing it, and I mean literally everyone. They were saying, oh, these graphics are insane. It's like 4K. And it's just not like that. So I have so many comments on my videos. I've got away with that. So many comments on my videos of people saying, why is no one else saying what the graphics are like? Because if you go in with that expectation, it's amazing. But if you go in thinking it's going to look like your TV, it just, it, it, it won't. It's just the technology's not there yeah. yet. Do you know what the resolution of the goggles is? Yeah, two, tell it's that? 2,000 by 2,000 pixels per eye. Okay, so yeah, it's not... In in no way is that 4K, because A is 2,000, 2,000, that's per eye, you know? And what you also remember is think how close your eyes are to those pixels. Yeah. So, um, obviously the quality is not going to be as good. It's not quite like this, but imagine playing on a 4K screen right now in 4K and then playing on a 1080p screen and putting your eyes like right next to it. Yeah. That's kind of what it's like in a, in a way. So I think I'm the only person who really talks about it and I genuinely don't know why. Uh, well, okay, I'll tell you why I think why. I think it's because people just review it and move on so quickly. Yeah. They're not reviewing it from the perspective of someone who's going to spend £500 and live with it for a long time. But yeah, Gary, by the yeah. Way, they're uh, reviewing it for a video and then exactly, you and know, using it maybe five or ten hours, yeah. And it has made me question, Callum, like other stuff I see reviews. Shoot. Because well, I made the decision not to use VR on mine because yeah. I, I Scott's got VR at his one and like my display is 1440p and it's way better quality and better latency and you know vr is cool for being in the car but i was slower i mean i would be because i'm not used to it but yeah. like scott is used to it and he says yeah he's slower in vr i remember when scott did that tour to motorsport uk he said vr is the most authentic way to practice as a real world it is if you're focusing on real world yeah but if you're competing in the game yes then true, I agree. it's like so let's say it's like um you know how pro i don't know much about this but like pro cod players will always pretty lower, much lower always run on minimum yeah. yeah because then enemies stand out more you you have more frames to play with like all of this stuff yeah whereas you know if you were training you're not going to train to be in the army using cod but if point. you were to be you would say then yeah vr plus maximum graphics would would be the closest yeah it's another interesting point about 
You know, there's like increasing contention about whether esports is ruining sim racing. Yeah, I'm not sure if I buy into all of that, but I'm not well read on it. So. There's definitely a massive anti esports brigade that I think a lot of people are just sort of. Oh, some jealousy in there, maybe? I don't know, but. Yeah. Um, there is also the idea that a lot of games cater towards esports players and sort of miss out. Cool, very fun. Yeah. It does seem that iRacing don't do that. Like, like Pesk, the Porsche one, is yeah. is just basically a hosted lobby and nothing changes too much, really. Yeah. Like iRacing, I would say, you know, in the way they run special events and all that stuff, like they are catering to everyone. Yeah. Like I think currently how they have Le Mans and Daytona and all these special events started around through the year is like about as, as it could be for your average sim racer like you and me. Yeah. Like to have fun in teams they've even got forums where oh. you can like join up with other teams well yeah. done um to join up with other players to form a team like to do all that i think that's excellent yeah but i see what you're saying about like ren sport and the way they're moving that and f1 esports is a whole other world well f one's really interesting right because f1 has the capability of being an actual cod level eyeballs mm -hmm. viewership advertising sponsorship and I think Rensport might want to go down there, but I think iRacing is very much... we iRacing want to sell as many subscriptions as possible, I'm sure. So, mm. you know, for them, it's better to have more people involved than, like, you know, sacrificing that for more eyeballs on the top split. I yeah. mean, iRacing don't even really bother doing fancy broadcasts a lot of it, do they? No. Whereas, you know, Rensport, they fly everyone to the LAN event and it's all about the glossy broadcast, so... It's very different ideas. Olivia saying Lean Ecris is based in the Netherlands. They are a large BMW dealership. That's a car ahead of us, P27. Nice. Yeah, as I say, I'm really excited to see how much sim racing helps me. Like I can't I kinda want to show as part of this series of like like everyone knows, I you know I am a two and a half k driver, two point four. Like I sit around there, like that's a fairly average I rating. Yeah. It's actually not if you look at numbers, but like for someone who spends time and focuses on sim racing, like that's that's achievable for most people to be yeah. at that level. Like, what does that get you against other people who are going into motorsport? Like, yeah. you know, you understand trail braking, you have good race craft, you have good folk you know the amount of focus you need to run a 20 minute race yeah you know correct you have the ability to learn new circuits you have the ability to to improve your times lap on lap like all of that is baked in already yeah. like the mindset is there and the knowledge of racing is there already yeah. right whereas if you're your average person i was chatting to a couple of guys who were joining the caterham academy like they're going into it as car owners and people who enjoy driving on the road yeah. You don't learn any of that driving on the road. You only learn that racing. I think it's I think um, it's really interesting. I think I think it would be great to. Um, you're basically going to be documenting your story, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you've heard the interviews with Lando's dad. Okay. And, and like how um, they spent a lot of time and money on simulators. Yeah. And like, there's interesting comparisons with Lando and his brother, actually. Okay. And like, how much time they spend. And it's, it's very interesting. interesting. So Why that, is his brother like a quick sim driver? His brother was never as good as Lando, and his dad like just talks about how it was as a dad to like manage that because it's you know difficult. But his brother, so you know, so my Nathan when he won that helmet in that competition, that yeah. competition was run by Lando's brother, I think, on his sim. So Lando's brother runs a sim company now. Okay. Um, but essentially they attribute a lot of Lando's pace. Oh yeah, this is it, this is the point. Land for every karting championship Lando ever did, ever did as he was growing up, he would always be on pole in the first race of the season. Always, mm. 100%. And they attribute that to the simulator work as coming in nice. like absolutely red hot. Yeah. yeah. Basically, it meant other drivers just couldn't catch him. He was he was already ahead. 
it's so between you and me i'm trying to do uh, catering stuff like yeah. my first event is at kerbera spring yeah. so oh, i know Kerberink. the track well kerber green yeah <laughs> i know that track well i know the route yeah um you're actually not allowed to test at all yeah so I, I cannot take a catering there even though i could so easily because we're there a lot yeah, yeah. um yeah but it's on the sim and so absolutely grinding on the sim yeah but that's fair that's fair enough right i mean yeah but i think it you will stay left he's breaking wow. is he gone Am I yeah him? he's gone okay yeah uh yeah oh, turn him, turn back, him. your it? line your line is miles yeah Sorry, I thought you'd seen him. No, no. I he probably he disappeared from your vision so early that you yeah. weren't ready for it. No, I think 100% you, you you would expect to go in there and just start from a higher basis point. It's so high pressure though, right? That event, um, you get two practice runs in the morning. It's just the opening then round. You, yeah, the sprint. And then you get two timed runs and that's it. Like, you drive the track four times. Wow. You know, whereas if it's quali, you know, you're, you've already done a day of testing. Yeah. Um, so you've probably done, I don't know, 100 laps. Yeah. And then you've got practice, which is 15 minutes, and you've done, I don't know, 15 laps. Yeah. And then you've got quali, and you've done, you know, so by the time you set your quali lap, A, you've got three goes at it, and then B, you've done 100 laps in the last two days. Yeah. So whereas Kerber Sprint is like, yeah, you get two practice goes, two goes, that's it. And if you run wide or invalidate your lap track limits, like that's it. Go on. And interestingly, actually, at Kerbera, they um, put cones on all the apexes, and if you touch cone, that's it. Lap gone. Yeah. They're the only because when I was growing up karting, I didn't have a sim, and it was it went available anyway. But the only real touch point I have. Oh. Yeah. A second. Go on. This is your line. Claim it. Yeah, all yours, all yours. He's it's, gone. He's it's when out. I went to the Nurburgring with my car yeah. mates. I did that on Gran Turismo PSP actually, and that obviously when I went there. By the way, my story. When I went to the Nurburgring, right, I was 21, I think, just finished uni. I I had a driving license, but I didn't really drive a car at home because I went to uni in London. So. Um, I didn't have a car, I just used to drive my parents' car. So I did karting, so I was good at driving, but in terms of driving a car, I didn't really drive a car that much. So I went to the Nürburgring and picked up the car I was driving, which was a like, stripped down Suzuki Swift or something. Yeah. And I remember sitting there thinking, I can't really remember how to drive like a car. And <laughs> I had to get out of the car park, and the car park was like a massive hill. And I was like, oh my word, and I, I think I stalled it like a few times. And I could see someone coming over to walk, because like, you have to sign all these documents saying you're, you know, what you're doing and whatnot. I was like, oh my word, I'm not even going to get to the Nervo Green. And I just <laughs> gave it later when it, now I, I drive all the time. But um, anyway, I'm going so, in two weeks, actually, to do a, a few laps. Oh, no, in something special? Uh, well, in our, in our cheap cars. <laughs> oh, that's a great test. So we'll see. That'll be a lot of fun. We'll get yeah. some um, int we'll get some interesting conversations out there. Are you going to drive them out there? Are you going to put them on a trailer? Yeah, we can drive them. Yeah. Do you need to get a car net and stuff for that sort of Sorry? You need to get the paperwork. Is it a car net? I can't remember what it's called. I don't know what that is. What do you mean? If you're, ex if you're, if you're doing business with a car in another country. Oh. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Somewhere chat I have no idea if it applies or not, but... Um, yeah, be awesome. But my, my point was, when I went to the, when I actually got to the Nurburgring, then it was just so easy because I knew that I knew 147 corners by the back of my hands, so I yeah. could actually just enjoy, a concentrate on having fun. Otherwise, I would, I wouldn't have even got up to speed. Like, honestly. No. Imagine driving the Nurburgring in real life, not knowing what's coming next. Yeah. <laughs> but we all did that. We all played on Gran Turismo. So. He's still there. He's gonna get you. I will back out here. It's not worth fighting. It's not worth fighting. I tried to fight it, okay. but... <laughs> <laughs> now get him. Go. P25 right now, somehow. Lovely stuff.
Oh, I like that team name, two behind us. They're just called Argentine. Rate <laughs> that. Go on, it's your line. It's your line. He's, he's backed up. Oh, Dominating. I've got a slowdown. Oh, Kirif. Oh, what was that on the Great right side? Great overtake. <laughs> it doesn't count. It validates. I'll try and lose it on the exit of Hossa. It's actually ticking down a little bit. 0 0.5, 0 0.4. We that slow. 0 0.3. 0 0.2. Callum, that slowdown just went by itself. I was driving for Did pace. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you got a bad exit. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Right, should I go left or go right here? Uh, Stay right. Defend right, yeah. He's not making any progress on you. Uh, he is now. <gasps> He's turning in. <laughs> well done. Cut him back. Yeah, Dive bomb. <laughs> yeah, apparently this guy had he runs a BMW dealership in the Netherlands. I think said. Oh. Nice. Shame there's no real social aspect to our racing, isn't it? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, you know, like when you I'd go say what we're doing now is quite social. No, but I mean, after the race, like just having a drink. Or oh, something. yeah. Because there's so many cool people to chat to and like. Yeah. Stay very close. Let me get on the exit. Oh, he's gone wide there. I'm very compromised at the exit, ironically. <laughs> oh no! Is he playing some 4D chess? I don't know what he's doing. Come on, BMW. What do you think? Back out. Get him on the next one. Oh, no, you're gaining again. Oh, we could have a crash here. Go on, you'll get the exit now. Yeah, go, 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 go. <laughs> we just slow each other up. <laughs> yeah, Twan is getting away. Oh yeah, we got a slowdown last time, didn't we? So we hadn't had that last. If I didn't lose any time, <laughs> can't believe it. Tell you what, it's a shame Alonso wasn't as fast as the hype predicted. Today. You know what? I was thinking about Alonso's story. Right? Doesn't he have the most insane story? The one. Um. Still there. Hold your arm. Well, look at everything he's done. But like, compare, like, to most drivers. He, didn't he come in? Didn't he start with Minardi, right? Yeah. And then he went to Renault. Then Renault. So he went. To, came from Minardi. I think he got in the points in Minardi. Went to Renault. Won two championships in a row. First yeah. person to be Michael Schumacher in ages. Then he went yeah. to Ferrari. 
Then he went back to Renault. So yeah, he, he, he went went to Ferrari and was the he only person. Bailed, huh? He bailed. He bailed, right? Like, didn't he retire? No. No, no, no. Yeah, didn't he go? Is it back to Renault and then? Hang on, to it? McLaren. Well, see, he went to Ferrari and he was like within like a few points of winning a few more world championships, right? Yeah. The only person to get close. To, well, not the only person who got close to Vettel. Then he goes back to Renault and I can't remember. But yeah, then he goes to McLaren, right? Partners with bad. Button. But yeah, and he's, he's terrible. But he makes his big gamble to go back. No, we missed that McLaren. Sorry, I missed that McLaren in the first place. Didn't he go from? He went from Renault to McLaren. Oh yeah, McLaren. that's right. And yeah, then, and then he went to Ferrari. So yeah, they were trying. Then he went back to Renault. I'm guessing, right? And mm. then back to F McLaren to partner yeah. Button. Then retired. And came back with Alpine. And now he's gone to Aston Martin. So he's been with Renault three times. Yeah, he's. Been, it's not just an insane. Well, he's story. got the run. He's got the run. He's it's got the run. run. And then, then well, in, in all of that, he tried to do Indy as well, didn't he? Yeah. Has he ever well, he done? won Le Mans. Who with? Toyota. Toyota. Yeah. So he had a cheeky go at the Triple Crown. Isn't he just absolutely insane when you think about it like that? And he's still yeah, now. I... You would say if he's in equal machinery, you would sort of. Well, I would say he... if he'd made it, if he'd made a couple of better decisions along the way, he could have won like four or five championships. Well, he made a lot of decisions. That's for sure. I mean, I think he's good. I just, I think, I think he's infinitely more interesting than Kimi Räikkönen. Oh yeah. Sorry if that offends him. Kimi's only funny because of his like personality. Yeah. Although to be fair, Kimi did win with Ferrari. Yeah. Also, kind of... Recommendation needed for Gary. What's the rec recommendation for a gaming headset with a microphone? That's really difficult. I, I actually don't know any gaming headsets that have a universally good regarded microphone. Neither do I. I know Jimmy, if you look at the one Jimmy Broadbent wears, that obviously has a good microphone, but that's quite an old fashioned. It's not USB, but like that. I would actually. I just. I think this is like a bit of a uh, like simple thing to say, but I wouldn't worry too much about a headset. I, I personally never have. Like this headset is about ten years old. Maybe it would blow my mind if I used a better one. But... Leon. Surely not Leon. Oh, I had a little Wilson on the exit. I'll stay right here. Still got the measure of him. Oh no, he sent it. <laughs> yeah, run him wide, run him wide. <laughs> Yeah, so silly, but so much fun. In that situation, I'm always quite aggressive. Like, if they're on the outside, offline, and they try and hang it, I'm like, no. That's Knowing not that happening. if there's contact, you're going to be okay. Yeah. That's the reality. That's that's honestly what I think a lot of people who don't do real world racing kind of. It's harder to grasp. Like, might might really is right in those circumstances. You can afford to be more aggressive when you're in that when you're in my position there. Mm. Good battle with this guy, Ed. P twenty four, so twenty five seconds off P twenty one. He's got a run. We're on the exact same strap, by the way, so same fuel loads. Yeah. Should probably do some maths.
Oh, if you yeah, want I think it's... Yeah? I've just sorry, done some rough mental baths. I think it's probably worth us just running the tank out and topping it up with whatever it needs. Yeah. Is your crew chief, will your crew chief do that? Uh, no, because I don't have crew chief running, actually. Damn it. I have race labs on me, so race labs will give me an estimated fuel. Yeah, I've got a refuel. At the moment, it's saying... Oh, Leon pitted. So he is doing the split. Yeah, he's going for the undercut. How is that an undercut? Uh, cooling the tyres at a better time. Mm, yeah, good point. But he'll come, like, up with, I, he'll come up with more fuel though, won't he? Yeah. I've been doing the Mist Apex League, and um, yeah. there you don't change your tyres. You. Oh, sorry. You only refuel like seven litres, but deploying it is just a strategy of when you take your cold tyres. Uh, got like, it. In the F3 car, they get really hot. And so, yeah, if, if, if you did box one lap before someone, yeah. you can go quicker. Uh, my race labs are saying average is 81.7, max is 86.9 litres on the refuel. So we could just... Are you, ask, you want me to do some rough math? I, I can let, no, I can let you know that figure when I pit. Oh, when I need to push the buttons, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is the most comfortable I've felt with driving for a very long time. This, with my new Logitech equipment, I think I've, I've been setting it up really poorly. Hmm. Okay. Also, I just, fundamentally, I don't race as much these days. Very used to. Yeah. Which I would like to change. Catching P23 quite a bit, I don't know what's happening. Did you, did you um, start to race a lot more in COVID or were you racing already? Uh, that was the point. I was doing eye racing, but then I started that Daytona that you start, that you did. Yeah. That was the first one I did. And I found that was actually, that was about the time I did the Driver 61 course. Like they asked, they offered for me oh, to do the it for free. One. Yeah. Yeah. And I did that and I... I um, I got a lot better, and then that meant I raced more. I enjoyed it. More. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, it's mainly in COVID, really. I did I did some fairly casual sim racing before that. Yeah, I think you guys gave me an affiliate code for that. I need to put it in the chat box. Um, oh yeah, is it's good. It's like it's it's the best sort of um live cohort course i've seen around for it yeah there's admittedly it's the only one i've done but no, there's definitely a lot of value in it it's like fundamentally people will tell you how to become better at racing i think the driver 61 is particularly good always wired yeah. it, it's unusual because it has a lot of other materials other than just the sessions right yeah so it, i think a, a lot of it is about getting some of the bad habits out of your way and then you can and sort of teaching you to get quicker yourself yeah and that's kind of what it did like i was i was not very good at trail braking and i was often balancing the car in the corner on the throttle yeah so it meant i was always going in a bit slow and coming out a bit slow yeah Whereas being able to balance the car on the brakes and setting the apex upright and then getting on the throttle earlier gave me loads of time. This guy's just... He's on his outlap maybe. Yeah, he is, so might be heavy. That's bold. I just gave him a choice there to see what he's doing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for me, I start. I did a session with David Perrell in oh, Jan yeah. January 2020. That was back on GT Sport. Obviously, yeah. he's now gone on to do like Sim Grid and like Coast Dev Bro, why are you standing, man? Um, that kind of six kids for me, and obviously COVID hit like a few months later. But there's a lot of me that really misses those days. Like my life was just so simple. <laughs> work sim race. That was it. Also, for me, YouTube was much less complicated because it was just basically hit stream, hit live. Yeah. But 
I, I do think I was probably at my fastest then because I was just racing so much. And I was racing really fast people. I used to race with Super GT and like all the Club 100 people. I used to race with Ollie and Rory like all the time as well. And Ollie has got insanely quick recently. Yeah. He's no, like I'm, taking another level. I'm He's like rated, right yeah. up there now. He's very focused on being the best. Very focused. He's walking the walk. Even when I used to race with him, he, he would practice the hardest. He would be the most upset when, you know, we weren't on the pace and stuff like that. He's very focused. And I feel like that means that what he does is very authentic. Yeah. You know, it's okay for him to be not happy when he's not fast, because we get it. And it says the highs and the lows. That's why I stopped racing with him. I was, it wasn't something I wanted to... Do. Yeah, like it's, just, it's, it can be different. I mean, I mean this for fun. Really. Yeah, and I think that's fair enough, and there's no hard feelings to anyone, but it's clear yeah. to see that's where he wants to be, and I uh, fully Robin, respect that. Um, but it's like a bit like my cool. lobbies in G7 are all about fun and like chaos, and yeah. there'll be a lot of people who don't want that either. They'll be like, hang on, this racing's too chaotic. I mean, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. But it's interesting to see sort of the people who last it out often have, I think, values that are guiding principles for them. Mm. Ah, Twan's here. Go again. <laughs> a wild Twan appeared. Chat, we, we got 78 likes. We are 22 likes away from the big 100. If you have a like to give, deploy the likes. Right, so. right stepping away for three minutes. And so yeah, we can get to 100 likes over, that'd be amazing. For an iRacing stream. Great to see so many people as well hanging out for iRacing. It really does mean a lot of difference. Oh, someone's gone white here. Oh, there's a car facing the wrong way. Presumably they're not going to rejoin. Very nice. That was a lapped car, so no position for us. Right, P20's on the relative, everyone. And we are, weirdly, lapping faster than them. So 20 seconds to P20, we're lapping faster. I mean, considering I qualified in like P45 or something, I'll take it. Clearly did not do a very good job of qualifying at all. Yeah, chat, I really do think I've made so many improvements with my pedal pedal stay was all about positioning. I changed the angles, I changed the height. Just wasn't right before. Car right. Clear on the right. Pitted there, but I wasn't sure whether he was still alongside me. I didn't get the clear because he'd obviously gone parallel. Right. Get another position. Twans in, but this is all about strat, isn't it? Now. Push, push, mate. Push. Don't move! Because everyone's making their last stops. I think for me, I'm I'm a driver in sim racing. I'm very sensitive to getting off the brake. I, I like to find a lot of rotation getting off the brake and manipulate that. So when my pedals are not positioned for me to really be in that zone, I, I really struggle a lot. Basically, what happened before is my pedals were just too far... My pedals were too far away, and they were angled too much towards me. <laughs> I'd angled them to, like that, so it meant I, it was just all wrong. And now I've just put them down a bit, and they're angled more like a natural pedal. So, making a world of difference. P19's up there now. I'm back. Nice one. So it's saying to me 2.4 laps to go. Yeah. So it'll be less than two when we go over the line, won't it? So are we actually pitting next lap then, maybe? Can't What's it, it saying in terms of a number now? 60 the, litres. The max is 86.4. Yeah. 
But you might. Oh, sh I forgot to break. That's right, go straight on. <laughs> right, so I'll just do mental maths. Just check the slowdown. Yeah, you might want to double check that. Um, on yeah, the I'm just doing that. Because it's saying the max usage is 8.2, but on my dash it's saying 5.95. Stay down here. Better than dying. A bit stupid. Right? I might just think yeah, dashes in KG. Yeah, my bad. Shame is we were back. catching this two head. Got to get that time back. E20 to 403. So. Like damage or something. Oops, someone crashed behind. Yeah, it's about 80 something litres, 80, low 80s. Okay. I can do better maths once it's the final, once it's, you know, you're on your final lap. Yeah. Do you want new tyres? Uh, it's basically another stint, isn't it? So. Oh, or is it? Actually, I don't know. A bit confused because that lapsed. Um, you, last time the tyres came in and they're on seventy-eight percent. Oh no! no uh, don't change tyres then. Okay. How how many minutes is my last stint going to be? Um, thirty-three. Okay, let's let's not change them and get unless actually. No, they it changed at the same time now, isn't it? There's no point in not taking them. Oh yeah, depending on. I think we should change them then, because I think the tyres are done. Because how big is the tank? Is it 106? Yeah. So we're basically we're taking a majority. I would change them then. Okay. Because other people may not. I mean, that's my thought. Yeah, Matt Joy saying tyres will still be free. Weird change. Yeah, I don't, that's, I don't, is that a GT3 regulation or something? I don't know. I don't know. I know it changed, like, well, the first time I noticed it was um, Daytona. Yeah. Seemed bizarre, actually. God, Daytona, what a race that was. We were doing really well at one point, weren't we? Yeah. Were we, like, fifth? Yeah, fifth and, like, rapidly climbing. Just, it's a roll these races are roller coaster, aren't they? I've actually forgotten what happened. What happened? We, I Did think, we extend, I think we had something at the beginning. We went down, then we went up quite aggressively, all the way up to like fifth, and then we had some other shunts. Then we went down, and then we went up again in the night, and we went down again. Then we went up near the end. It was kind of a bit too late. And then I got a warning. <laughs> yeah. Less said about that, the better. Matt is saying they changed it for IMSA rules and copied it over. Okay. Ah, interesting. I see P18 on the relative here. We've gone up to P20, weirdly. Nice. I guess because we're a bit out of sync, aren't we? Because we're due, we're due a pit stop right now. Guy behind me is pushing some good lap times at the moment. Okay. They might be being a bit ahead and then they've done their pit stop early, I don't know. Hmm. 
that one lap of fuel left. I'm really excited for the Grand Prix tomorrow. Nice. First race back is always good. Yeah. The most encouraging thing from Quali actually was that the field spread was quite minimal. Yeah. Should be some great that was midfield quite... battles, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think I'll watch it. I think I got a bit of fatigue by F1 last season. Did ya? Yeah, I did, actually I did go to two races. Maybe that. I don't have any plans to go to any of this. Uh, also, the place I go to in Monaco is closed. Yeah. Right, I'm going to box. Box, box, box. Yeah. Once you get a sec, can you tell me your final number on your screen? For fuel. Pit box team, 10. Uh, Where's your... I'm not on that screen, so I've done race labs. It says max 86.1. Uh, remaining 6.3 litres. Okay. I came in that about 2 kph over. I got very lucky, I think. And being sure with the fuel. Yeah, tyres are. Dead. I'm so used to just leaving it to the crew chief and not stressing, but I hate doing this mess. Go go go! Nice. All right, Let's see what it does. You have the leader on exit. Wow. Okay. Maybe if he hasn't pitted, no, he hasn't. Maybe he has. No. Yeah, that's the leader. Okay. And then Frank's here. You're battling with Frank. Oh, again. See, that's that a split strategy, right? That's yeah. a split strat. But we love fresher tyres, right? We? Go on, have him. Yeah, go on. Hello, Frank. Don't, don't lose it on gold tyres. Oh, yeah, that will true. be easy to do. But this slip down the straight is looking tasty. I do find though when you get new tyres they're always like a low pressure because they're cold and then you're not as fast in the straight line. Yeah, I just don't like it on some of the lower speed corners. Hmm. Right, so it's Frank, Eric, I think pitted the same time as us as well. So we're P24. But we're all done on pits. I feel like I gained massively on him there. Yeah, you did. Great, great corner. I think I was just just outside that ABS. Just on it. Hello, Frank. Yeah, come on, have him. <laughs> have him. <laughs> yeah, you can move right a bit more. Good, good, good. It's a good tactic, but he's he's forcing me to break late, which is really actually compromising my exit. Yeah. So well, I'd say if, he, if he's on the outside like that, I just don't break late. Yeah. He is good into this corner, about that line. Yeah, he's gone. I oh, know. Yeah, run wide. You're good. Good, 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 good. You love, you love to see it. Kev, did you see your face was actually in our latest? Yeah, uh, people pointed uh, out the, the Charlotte win. No. Uh, nice. We did a compilation of my sim racing, like that was one. Of, you know, yeah. clearly we were like P1 and doing donuts, so it made it look good. Yeah, that was a great. That was such a fun race. It was. There's something about that race that's really fun. 
The perfect blend of competitive and fun, wasn't it? It was like, it yeah. was a laugh, but we were also in it to win it. Is like, that, yeah, it's a really good point. I, feel, I just felt, we felt very comfortable, I think. We were just on the pace. Yeah. Well, we were setting the pace. <laughs> but it was close, if I remember. Like, we were batting lots of people. And... Yeah. Yeah, I drove the Mazda on Wednesday in my Club 100 League. Oh, I drove the GR86. I hated it. I need to drive that car. Oh, it's more. horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Does it still hop around corners? It's just... Oh, shoot. Man. I see everything Sick happening with the car here. <gasps> oh, no. What's, yeah. it look, what's it look like? Oh, go, 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 go. I've got smoke. Oh, I've got smoke. Yeah, that'll be a meatball, I imagine. Oh, um, I, I haven't got a meatball. I've got to come in. Oh, I've got a meatball. Okay. Let me fix this. No. It's all right, mate. It's all right. It's all right. It was like, as soon as the tyres got warm, you drifted again, and then it's like, you can't save it. No, again. I should have stopped it, because I was saying in the previews, like, oh, look how drifty this is, and I just... <laughs> Stupid. This isn't going to be good, Callum. No, it's not. What, 30 minutes? Five. You might get, you might get a lap in at the end. Right here. Well, required is two minutes twenty. Really? Yeah, I don't understand that at all. You must not have done the engine then. But the engine looked pretty bad. The ignition's off automatic, I think. Uh, I want to have a look back because I was, I in the, I was like, oh, this is very sketchy. But it's yeah, so like, stupid. It's in eye racing, as soon as you heat those tires like that, it like doesn't forgive you. So when I come in for the first part of Porsche Curves, it goes a little bit, and I turn in again, I'm like, okay, turn in again, or driftiness. Turn in left-handed driftiness. I'm so stupid. At that point, I'm I would... So well, stupid. It's, it's easy to say in hindsight. It's like, at that point, you go, all right, let me be steady for the next No, no, ab points. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, I should have done. I was really stupid. I think I was just mentally sort of trying to keep the distance to the car ahead. Yeah. But... It actually would have helped if you'd hit the barrier first time. Like, on the right, if you'd clip that barrier, it would have straightened you out and you wouldn't have hit the barrier head on. Yeah. But I don't know what I was expecting. Like, I basically just saved, like, four moments. It's, uh, and I had, I think I corrected too much. <coughs> I, like, snapped a correction. Oh, yeah, but that's, that's what, you know, anyone does that. Oh, sorry, Cam. That's my stupidity. That's really bad. Oh, no, dude, don't worry. Don't worry. I nearly dropped it a couple of times. <laughs> no, I just got to be a bit... When they're having those moments, we're like, okay, let's reset a little bit. Oh, back down we go. Is the steering straight? Uh, I'll have a look. There's loads of optionals as well, but... Uh, right, Callum, required are going to be done in 25 seconds. All right. So I'm going to go out. Well, I'm to crack on, yeah. Yeah, there's 13 seconds of optionals. The steering actually does look straight right now. Okay, punch it. Let's see how this works. Oh no, I think we're coming out with Team Happy Life. Oh no. That means death. That's them there. Alright. Still something to battle for? Yeah. Something's very vibratory. Vibrating. Okay. Yeah, give it half a lap and just be careful. The gearbox might be struggling. It's still going, it's just like a bit wavery. We might be massively down on the straights, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, let's see. Twan's behind us. Like. Welcome, Nathan. 
when you get sec, press D on your keyboard to get the dash up and keep keep an eye on the temperatures. Yeah, it's um, oil temps 95, so not too high. Water temp 68. It'll go red when it's bad. Yeah, but the revs. And at are... that point, we pick because otherwise the engine will just blow. Yeah, the revs. I I think we're 30 k's down on the straight. Yeah, it looks it. You can brake late. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, car. Right, so at the moment we're P29. I don't know where P30 is. Survivor Sim Racing 2. Let's have a look. 25 minutes is... How many laps? Like, seven laps? Right? I just, I binned it in the Porsche curves. I was having, I had like five, like four drifty moments. Rather than just take it easy, I had another one and I binned it. Yeah, this car is, is done. <laughs> it's like, it's trying so hard. Yeah, you're probably, I don't know, t five to ten seconds down a lap, I'd, I'd say. Uh, Just watching on how, uh, you know, how much you're dropping to people behind you. Yeah. I'll see you next lap. But I don't, if, I don't know if we can hang on to P29. P31 mm. is a lap down, but I don't know where the leader is. This is a guy that we were racing. On You're on the left. So, if there's about seven laps to go, and we're about, well, let's actually let's just see how. I feel like it's going to be more than 10 seconds, but I don't know. Yeah, looking at your delta, I just tune into your stream. It's like 20 seconds down. So, Some of that will be from the pit lane, but not much. So seven laps of that. I don't know what. Yeah. Find us. The position behind isn't on my relative yet. Okay. I can't see where they are. But just crack on. There's like there's no yeah. we've got twenty minutes left. There's no point Yeah, hundred percent agreed. Right, here we go, flying lap. <laughs> it's just like how fast can you drive a very slow car? <laughs> oh wait, twenties in the pits. Yeah, we're about to gain a position. Yeah. It doesn't like that pills. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Bit, uh, I don't know, just like, it reminds me of my, my sister's got like a one litre engine polo and it just like cannot deal with hills. <laughs> it's just like the point at which a 500 horsepower race car starts caring about hills. <laughs> oh yeah, I've never, I've never really appreciated a hill up to Dunlop before, but now it's like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on! Interestingly, both the leaders pitted on that lap, I think. They've done 4 minute 44 yeah. laps. I reckon they've done... They've just done splash at the end, haven't they? But that's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Topping out a 2 four, one I have to say, Callum, that's the shortest amount I've ever seen 
Probably for a meatball, generally, actually. Yeah. Well, P32 just hit a 353. So they're coming fast, wherever they are. Hmm. <laughs> we did a 712 last <laughs> lap. <laughs> I guess we did ride our luck a little bit in this race, but I, uh, uh, I think, yeah, could have been a bit more sensible. But... Still no sign of P30 actually. And the temps actually aren't too bad. Like, the all temp is 93 degrees. It's actually lower than it was in the race. <laughs> it's getting way less revs. <laughs> that must be it, yeah. I actually bought a, a rev gauge for my lawnmower. Last year, I was, like, gearing it a bit high. Oh, nice. Rev well, no, I was revving it too high and I blew it up, so I need to keep an eye on that <laughs> this year. <laughs> I think that's a good like, reason to get a rev gauge. Yeah, everyone's like rocking up and, you know, it's like it's like the equivalent of stepping into, like, as a rookie, yeah. as stepping into top split. Like, although it's lawnmower racing, like, you're racing people who've done it for 15 years and have, yeah. like, tinkered with their mower, like, you know, it's, it's that sort of thing. And so, just to keep up with them coming out the corners, I was like under gearing my. Do people mower. like sell their engines and stuff? Because in no, car you, in cars, that's in really the rules, bad. you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to touch them. But I'm sure people are do. they Rotax or, or whatever. They're Honda uh, four strokes. Because the way it works in karting gears is similar with with like the manufacturers. You're not allowed to modify them, but some just come out of the factory better. Yeah. So people sell those ones, like. You know. It's actually really hard to get hold of the engines because it's it's an engine that isn't on many things like in the real world. Like they're on ride on lawnmowers, like big, big ride on lawnmowers. Yeah. And so like there just aren't that many. Whereas some of the smaller engines and the horizontal versions, which are used on carts, yeah. are used on like pressure washers and compact leaf blowers and cool. like leaf blowers. Yeah, all that stuff. Carts as well. So there's just more of them. Yeah. Whereas, oh, we're about to gain another position. I here. think that's the same one. I feel like Montreal Racing Team. Maybe they were really high up. Maybe. Oh, maybe not actually. Maybe we're 27. Oh, it's Frank. Uh, Frank. Uh, Bye, Frank. Oh, uh, Frank. Come on, for old time's sake. <laughs> Wait for us. <laughs> yeah. uh, flash at Frank. Frank, no. Frank actually absolutely, absolutely did me with his um, tactics there. <laughs> P24's in the pits as well, by the way. Love to see it. I mean, I hate to see it. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I got an off track on the way in. It'll oh, go down. Just I, stay flat. I got a message from Ariel saying, read the race, dude. Who's that? Who's a Ariel Rocker? Uh, does it say a number? Uh, no. Do you, do you get it as well? No. It was just a private message to you, I think. Ariel Rocker. Okay. I mean, I see the race. We've got 50 minutes to go. Ah, oh, p 3 on the relative. Oh, no. Run away. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> run, run harder, for God's sake. Right, the bad news is he's, he's 40 seconds away and we're 20 seconds a lap slower. Yeah. So within two laps, at this rate, he'll catch us. Mm. And there's a, probably about, what, four laps to go, maybe? Four? four? I don't know, something like that. Unless he also has a push to How fast and coming.
next car's the leader. So he'll overtake us in the lap or so. So we won't be too uh, difficult to actually think about the white flag. And that. I wonder if there's a better way for me to drive this car. Like if I should be going up the gears quicker or something. Uh, I doubt it. It's naturally aspirated, isn't it? So yeah, you want to be high in the revs. Oh no, no, it's got turbo. I don't know. <laughs> you can brake later to compensate. Yeah, that's true. I've gone, somehow I've gone deep. <laughs> Has he got enough speed to go deep? <laughs> Interestingly, I think P33, he's a lap down on P30, has just overtaken P30. So maybe they're not catching us quite as quickly. Hmm. So if everything's okay on my dash, there's no danger of this engine blowing up, right? Mm, it's only not in theory. I mean, it could go bang at any point, but I don't think so. I think it'd be all right. It's normally, yeah, just temperatures you've got to keep an eye on. Because, like, sometimes in a crash, like, it simulates that you break a cool line or something, which doesn't, you know, doesn't make you any slower, okay. but the engine goes bang. I hit the wall all day in um, the exit of the Porsche curves. Hard. It was a good crash. <sighs> yeah, it's not a bad place to have a crash. It was just a really stupid, like, oh, this is really dangerous, so I'm going to keep driving like this. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was a 422. Yeah, so about 20, 25 seconds <laughs> off the bay. <laughs> it's not the circuit where you want engine damage, is it? Still going though, still P27. You know what, I feel like, I don't know if it's just a climb side, I feel like the acceleration is not that, it's just the absolute lack of top speed. It's kind mm. of killing us. Hey, yeah, he did that just with a dab of the brakes. Yeah, you can do it with a lift now. So he's 18.6 seconds behind. That means this lap. Defend like hell, mate. <laughs> Sweet done straight. You know what? We're going a bit faster. We were 241. That was 245. Oh my god. So we gained 4Ks. Imagine if this car healed itself. Yeah. Is it repairable? Uh, well, the optionals were about 13 minutes, so yeah. But it's just, it doesn't add up. Um, it's very weird, actually. Very weird that the required repairs were so, were so low. I think I have enjoyed driving the car, though. It's been quite a lively car to drive. Yeah, it's good. Ten seconds behind. He is still battling with that back marker. I think there's two of them now. Ten minutes to go. That's three laps, isn't it? Basically, because the lead has just passed yeah. us. <laughs> You've got plenty of fuel. You've got yeah. eight laps of fuel. <laughs> so three laps, 20 seconds a lap slower. 
well, hang on, I say three laps. Is there any chance it's going to be two? Any chance? Oh, I don't think so. We're too close. No, the lead has just gone by. Yeah. Is it one minute 30 to the line here from here there? I don't think it is. Sure. There's gonna be two. There's gonna be two. F well, hang on. Is it gonna be three full laps yeah. after this, or two full laps? Uh, two. I think three. Three, it? yeah, three. My thingy is saying forty-three point nine. So yeah, three. So three full laps is another minute of uh, damage. He's 2.7 behind now. P31's in pits with 2.2 behind. I will say my slowdown rate has gone down quite a lot since I got the damage. Right side. On the Here line. he comes. Defend! <laughs> Still got him. Come on. Defend like hell. <laughs> Just hold him up at least. Is he gonna go around the outside? That's <laughs> a little bit awkward now, isn't it? Are you sure he's gonna wait? <laughs> Just wait to the straight. This one. <laughs> yeah. Right side. I'm gonna go defensive. <laughs> What did he say? Oh, I don't know what he said. Everything's in French. Are you going to? Our car's very broken. We're doing our best. It's still points, isn't it? It's still driver rating. I mean, I'm going to go. I'm going to get 12 driver rating. It's predicting. Yeah. Mine is saying you're going to get 39. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, that's because my thing doesn't know that you're not in P21. It, my, I still can't force my sim to draw all of the cars so that uh, okay. um, Race Labs is correct. In, it's in the setting there, isn't it? Like, draw all cars. Yeah, I, I've got it set to like the max and it's still... It's also a setting if you go onto your iRacing account, it's like use higher bandwidth. Oh, really? Yeah, it, like on the website one. But I don't know why it's there, but yeah. Because if you don't, it thinks you're on like um, IS... You remember like old school dial-up? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I basically am. It's like, are you sure you want to use high speed internet connection? It's like one megabit a second or something. <laughs> it's like, are you sure? <laughs> Only click this if you are certain. Is that one of those really old school eye racing things? Because I used to have issues with cars flashing and that fixed it. Just. I don't know if we're going to get absolutely done by the white flag here. Because we're not going to get white flag this time round, are we? And we're not going to get checkered next time round? Yeah. So we're just going to be limping around. One's coming and then second and third are in a close battle. I 
I don't know where P29 is. I'd have to assume they're likely within range. Uh, they're not on my relative. Yeah, you're going to get white flag next time. Shame. Yeah, they've asked me to make room to do P28 is pitted, Callum. The guy who just overtook us. What? Who's asked you to make room? Uh, the P23, which I will do. What's that sound? Is that my engine? Is that my engine, I think, Callum? Oh my I heard, God, I don't know. I, I, heard oh, something, I, hear I heard something go. Have you got nothing? Yeah, I've got nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, it'll be a short tow. Oh, yeah, you've got a, you've got a blown engine. Oh... Oh, I, I just heard it and I just went off because... Let me have a look at that. Did you just go bang? Yeah. God, that was such On a... my end, I didn't get any bang. I just... The to, engine just to me, stopped. it sounded like it was outside my car, but I just... I assume then I just drove off the track. Oh, chaos, Cannon. Of course, chaos here. We, we haven't had chaos at one of these in ages. Well, at least when it finishes, we can just drive across the line, which is just up there. We'll get <laughs> is that right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's almost done towing, but it need to fix it, right? Yeah. Let's see. Which, that'll be like half an hour because it's an engine. 41 minutes. Damn it. Maybe I could have... 41? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I could oh. But you know, weirdly, oh, so you know the optionals were 13 minutes. Yeah. The optionals now are four minutes, so those optionals presumably have gone into the required or something. Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess that's it then. <laughs> yeah, in auspicious end. I think we did get up to P20. Oh, the engine just blew up on my screen. Oh, in the it pits. It just went bang. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we did, we, we progressed really nicely. Yeah, um, I think I might be a little bit rusty like they, those moments I've got it and I also I think I had that spin on Tetra Rouge as well and that, mm. that normally should be a big one so but I really enjoyed it actually it was a nice car to drive I feel like my setup is a lot better and yeah. if you think back to the beginning of the race it, it for me it was just so enjoyable like being in that big pack and sort of yeah. dicing I think if I nice. spend a bit more time on iRacing and get maybe like half second, a second more pace back, do more, I think do more VRS sprints basically. Yeah. I don't do as much iRacing as I should do. Oh, you're a busy man. Anyway, appreciate you having me, mate. No, no, it's been great. Always, always good, <laughs> good to do to catch VRS. Up. Chat, have we enjoyed it as well? Callum's links in the. Callum's just. Is that Driver 61 or Overdrive? You just published what you just you said you published a one out of ten right oh yeah uh, that's a um uh, driver 61 driver 61 it's well, that... about sim racing about max's driving style in the sim i would recommend me nice. and scott sat down and went through loads of his footage and that broke it down um yeah i would recommend if you want to learn from from the best we'll put we'll put a link in the discord so everyone can check it out Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Phantom That Flanker. Thanks, everyone, for um, coming down and chilling with us. I'm just going to stay on the screen so we can so we can get the points, Callum. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to run. Yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. We'll do another one and um, hopefully sustain the pace a bit longer. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, dude. See you, man. See you, Callum. Bye. Nice. Shame about that um, moment. I think I was, I was actually just having, ironically, I was having too much fun. If you look back at it, I was like, oh, this is so much fun. Oh, no, I'm going to hit the barrier now. But I generally, genuinely feel a lot better when I set up. I feel like I might want to do some GT7 tonight or something like that. Um, well, I might want to see what, if there's another... I, I'm, actually, I feel like I want to do another iRacing race. I've got to be honest. So once this race finishes, I might just go and do another iRacing race. See where the leader is.
presume if I quit now, it's still gonna keep the um, times. Yeah, I might just hang on and just do, because everything's set up. I've really adjusted my pedals and I have a lot more confidence in the braking. Oh, we're gonna lose another position, I think. Singing in the pit lane. Well, we are in that pit lane. But I'm amazed, it's, 30, it's five minutes past and we're still not... We're still not... Um, the race isn't done, which I find amazing. Some people have done check a flag, but the leaders haven't. I don't get it. Michael Sun says timing. What's the timing? Luke says makes no difference if you quit now or right. Okay, I might quit then. I think I, I can't, I don't want to withdraw anything until I know it's finished. Um, where is the lead? Oh, we were racing with Frank. Frank's in P21. Damn it. Oh, P21, P22. P22. Let's have a look at the stats. Because I feel like I could do a better job on pace. Obviously, the quality wasn't very good. Where are we? Here we are. So, might be quite a few off tracks here. 59, 59, 59, 58, 57, 57. So I was getting in I was getting into it here and then Then we pit is that the pit lap? Oh yeah, that's the pit lap and then I binned it on the next lap. So see I was getting faster, but still two seconds off Callum there, so need to get that down. Callum was down in the fifty sixes. <clears throat> we almost got there. Four twenty point two at the end though. I'll take that. We're going to do another race though, Michael. I'm going to do, just find some... I want to race in iRacing while I run here. Let me have the stream up. Yeah, it's a long lap, but still more time to find. I think Arnage wasn't that great. Indianapolis loads more time. And I think the curves generally... The chicanes, I think I was actually doing okay. Right, where is this lead? Oh, he's done now. Okay. Are these guys still racing. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully they're not still racing. Right. Let's go. So this is going to go little screen. I just want to find another race. Bear with me. So I can't really remember how I racing works. Uh, if I go to up next and do start time, 10.16 is gone. The start time doesn't make any sense. Okay, so there's quite a few at 10.30, which is in 10 minutes. There's Rookie Legend VRS, there's Formula V, Sim Lab. Radicals, off road. I think it's got to be Sim Lad, but it's at this track I've never driven. Formula V, I really don't like. Ugh. Oh. There's Ferrari GT3 at Fuji. Um. There's an IMSA at Sabring. They're all at 10:45. Luke might start lawnmowers. Yeah, well, Callum is doing some insane stuff. Uh, what about 10.30 and I can just learn this track? This Rudskun. How difficult is Rudskun? There's a GT4, but I don't really want to do it. Oh, God. Formula V at Summit Point. Oh, it's such a bad idea. Right, let's do Formula V at Summit Point. This is, like, so bad. Gotta just install the car. Bear with me. Bear 
there with me chat come on I racing install this car oh right, summit point okay installing summit point Formula V is such a weird car. There's like no downforce on it, and like the tires are like pancakes. So this is a rookie one. I mean, this is a reset race, surely. But if I can do good at this race, then I'm back to being very comfortable in I racing. Bear with me. Eighteen seconds to go see what else there was uh, at 10.30 we have Ford 34 Coupe I don't know what a 34 Coupe is that sounds ancient Formula V at Summit Point which we're going to do Welcome Erwin, good to see you yeah we're going to try if you've never seen Formula V then it's such a bad idea but also, I think I finally got the right position for my pedals. Let me join. Let me in. Oh, that's similar. I don't do similar. We're doing some before it. Here we go. Register. Race. Join. So either I had a choice. Either I do something where I know the car or I know the track. Now, Summit Point, I think I remember the track. So... This is a rookie race. This is a rookie race. And I'm I am a rookie in Formula V. Right, joining. There are 13,000 people on iRacing right now. 13,000. It's quite populated for a PC sim. Summit point. I'm trying to remember this one. Is that, is that the one I remember? Summit Point. This isn't the one I was thinking about. This is a different one. Oh, Summit Point is the one where you go around that, like, bit. I think I was thinking of another one. I don't even really know this track. All right, we're loading up, chat. We're loading up. So we've got six minutes to get up to speed in the Formula V. We've loaded 90%. Come on, iRacing. Release us. Here we go. Finally, chat. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, we made it. This car is just ridiculous. I don't think it even has a limiter. Possibly the stupidest car in I racing. Can I go across now? Just nonsense. Just so easy to spin. It's not even a car, it's just like a bathtub. They put some like caster wheels on it. It's not a race red. It's not a vehicle. This is gonna be a bit fiddly. Look at us go! We've basically done the whole track. There's only like two more corners. I'll tell you what, I might, I might take it all back. We might be a Formula V expert. Thanks, Erwin. Formula V might be our calling. We've got a Kyle behind us in the standings. Side by side! Clear. 
Let's run off here. Right, yeah, look at us. Loop says avoid second gear. Uh, P3. Ah, oh, P3. Where do we break? Keep it in third, maybe. Seems plausible, actually. Seems like we've... Well, it's good against the Delta. Just a little lift here. I'm loving this car. Why did I talk so much smack about the Formula V? This is like the best thing I've ever driven. This is so good. Oh! Oh! How's my rejoin? Nice. I only use third and fourth loops. Okay, let's try that. That seems about right, actually. Norbert's in. Very nice. I'm going to lose my third place like this. Three minutes to go. It's just flat. That's not flat. That ain't flat. Very light steering. Honestly, I think we're in for a shout winning this race. Did we go better that lap time? We're five seconds off pole, but I think we can find those five seconds. No! <laughs> Drifting. Do a nice little jump up there. Catch these people fighting. Right, this is absolutely flat. Yeah, flat as you like. Oh, flat. Don't go in the beach. I mean, look at the delta. We're five seconds off, but we're six seconds up on this time. I don't get it. Car ahead. Car ahead. I've left. been there, mate. I've been there. Oh, no. How is my rejoin? Where is he? I see him. Let's go. Let's race with this guy, wheel to wheel. This guy's got a Williams livery or something. Oh. That's the fastest guy on track, let's follow him. He's got a GoPro. He's got a GoPro on his Formula V. He must be a pro. Welcome me, sir. Have we got time for, we've got one minute. Oh, look at this defense. Oh, careful, gentlemen. Up the inside. We love to see it. Oh, we're racing with the leader now. We're racing with him now. Hint of a lift here, hint of a lift. Good. This is good. Oh, we were having so much fun. We we're having so much fun. Okay, let's go into our race. I want to see my overtake. Oh, I've got a GoPro as well. So why doesn't he have a GoPro? He hasn't got a GoPro. Right, let's join the race. What do we think, chat? Formula V. Look how um high quality that image is. Or if they just like edited it. Is it actually that high quality in real life? Let me put a filter on it. We'll see.
So probably going to be two laps of quali. And then I'm guessing like a 10 minute race, 15 minute race. Where there's going to be lots of death. 12 minute race. So how many people in this split? 12 of us. Okay. This is just practice. So let's go go up. I'm not even sure it's possible to exceed the speed limit in this car. Warm up those tyres. Don't be that incredible. Look at us on this little bank here. Look at us on the banking. Anyone coming? We'll just chill here. We'll just chill on the banking. Oh. Okay. I think there is going to be a technique to just sort of snatch and get a little bit on the brakes. We take a bit of that curb on the inside. Though this bit is tricky because you sort of come in turning right, but then you want to brake and then turn left. So let's try and make sure we brake in a straight line here. Like that. Down to third, pitch it in, maybe try and get over that curb, ride it round. Maybe open this one up like this. Not sure, I spanned there last time. And this is all flat, isn't it? This is flat. Oh. Right, 128 they've done in qualifying. And that shows their pre race. So 127s are their fastest. Formula V difficult to go really fast. What do we think then? Can we can we get our optimals are twenty nine point four? So can can we go better than our optimal and do like a twenty eight? That'd be mad, wouldn't it? So we got to go optimal sectors every sector if we want to do anything decent there. Black likes it kind of okay. You see there? I mean that delta's going absolutely insane. I think that delta is based on our best, so we need to be five seconds quicker than that delta. Or four seconds, six seconds quicker, sorry. My bad. Take a bit of that curb. Don't be afraid of the exit. Then we're going to try and break here in a straight line. Turn it in. On that camber. Careful here. Straight line break again. I'm not sure about the gear changes there. Four seconds up at the moment. This is all not qualifying that there, but it's good to see. We need to be doing better than that. Oh, optimals are 28.4 now. 28.4 is the optimal. Okay. Okay, where am I going to break? I think in between the 3 and the 2. Maybe here. Dodgy that. Be two seconds that delta will be two seconds. Mm. 
kind of crazy lines there, wasn't it? I'd say we were pretty lucky to even survive. So this lap isn't going to be it. Last race, oh, I binned it near the end, you had to kind of limp home. wonder if that is actually flat with a better line. Right. 27's at the top. Oh, a lot of people in the 27's here. 29's for us. We need to take a second off that. And more. Come on. Second off that. Oh, okay. That's nice, sir. fiddly bit here wasn't very good. Not on left, not sure we need it. Ah, oh, lock up a better line though. Delta's growing, but we need it to be a second. We may as well gamble going flat on this last corner about it because we need more time. Had to lift. Had to lift. Oh, three tenths maybe over the line. Wow, everyone is in the 27s, and we're not. But we can still keep going, actually. I don't think it will count. All right, we can still keep going for another three minutes. We, we locked up into that tricky bit, didn't we? Can we get in the 27s? Oh, that's definitely flat. But this is where the real time is. I don't think I need to break for that second bit as much. Earlier upshift there. I'm not sure that's paying dividends. Oh, that's got to be a nicer exit, surely. Not a little bit. Might be about half a second here. Still not going to be close enough. Even if it was to count, need some more tents off that. Ah, oh, not sure that's the line using all that runoff and exit, is it? Let's go flat here. Choose that curb. Now, what do we do here? Uh, I see what I'm trying to do, trying to use all that width hasn't quite worked. So we've got a 28.1 which would take us within a second of the leaders. So our lap time's within a second. So we'll take that and maybe we can find, you know, half a second in the race or something like that. No, it's flat. Turn it more. There's actually some time there. Oh! Oh, 
Where am I now? Ah, wanted to see our thing. Can we still see it? <laughs> Hang on. Wow. Oh, ho, ho. And then we just went over like the edge of the world. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jesus is in this race. Here we go, chat. Formula V racing. Oh, there's a McLaren in here. It's going to be 12 minute race. So about 10 laps, maybe. Um, it's actually, it's estimating eight laps only. So it's a sprint. And we had the slowest qualifying lap time, I think. But the lap we did after was within a second of pole. So can we sort of get better? Let's see. Some rare eye racing on the channel, but I want to make it less rare. But this is it, an actual streamed eye racing sprint. Let's go. Nothing like a racing start, is there? Okay, where's this going? Reverse and don't do nothing for you, mate. Car on your left. Clear. Oh, went into second. I shouldn't have done. Crash. Go right. Not a, not a big crash, I would say. There was a crash. Left side. Stay on the right. Clear. Tell you what, I prefer the racing. Left side. Oh. Clear on the left. Car on your left. Keep to the right. <sighs> Had to back Clear out of that. It's exposed wheels. I just don't think you want any contact at all. Colin, just go. I'm not going to pass you. Let's keep up with him. Maybe that's not quite flat until the tyres are warmed up. So where are we at the moment? We're P8. The rookie rooms are for mate. It's where you learn. It's P8. But I think I can see the leader up there. Racing, isn't it? Right side. Keep to the left. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the right. Almost locked up and hit him. Wow, over P11, Mike. Is that the same guy that was saying this is rookies? <laughs> this is where you learn. I don't know if they blow smoke every time they um, change gear. If so, I can sort of work out where people are changing gear. He said, oh yeah, we overtook someone, didn't we? I think my lines could be better there if I'm going to take that one flat. Mattia behind looks pretty rapid as well. So a P7, that's 654, that's P4. I can't even see the leader though. Six five four three two. I don't know where it is. Car right. Clear. Start and go. I think 
I think I was sort of drifting there to the right hand side, which didn't help things. So, I don't think I helped myself there. Keep going. Lap time was a 128.2. Oh, some big smoke. Oh, someone's gone off the banking. Oh no, it's all my turn. It really. <laughs> Somehow, after our going off, we're sort of always in a better position. Well, look who I ran into. Nice run. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, Livy, actually. It's just pretty deadly in close quarters because exposed wheels. Wow, we're 9.7 off, seven seconds of a lead. I feel like we lost 10 seconds because of that spin. <laughs> So what happened there? I'm gonna see if I can get a little space between us before I break you off. Uh, so what happened there is... I remember what happened, but I just forgot. What was that about? I think there was a little correction, basically. That's what it was. We go again! 6.5, Carlos. Come on. What a brutal series this is. Six point two, come on. I don't think we have any damage from those like little tangles. How on earth are you meant to increase your safety rating in these sort of lobbies? Like Yeah, <laughs> never give up. Well, Carl's on a 28.0, which is fastest man on track, as far as I can see. Let's see if we can actually do a fast one now. Now we're 22 seconds off the lead. Applied a bit too much break there, locked here. Toby said to stop fighting, let's catch them, that's good news for us. 141 lap time. That lap time's 13 seconds off our pace, and we're 23 seconds off the lead, so. Oh. Shows we've got good underlying pace, I think. Drifting it now a little bit. It definitely feels a bit more warmed up. I think our best hope there is people really battling hard. Just like P7 and 8 are very close. Doing 27s now. Gonna be flat that time. Seven point seven. Okay, can we bring that gap down to P seven and eight? I think that's a key one. Try to lock up this time. Oh, I've gone. Oh no, I'm. Struggling in the Formula V, turn around. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. It was going, it was, now I think about it, it was going so well. 
Why did, why have why have I been pushing it so much? Come on, little Formula V. Okay, we need to set an objective for ourselves. Hang on. I don't know how to attack this cool. I feel like in these cars, I guess you want to keep the revs up. Okay, let's see if we can get... Let's see if we can get a uh, 27 lap time. That's got to be the objective. Yeah, I think it was same corner. Wasn't it the same corner where I locked up the previous one? This time I tried to just sort of trail it a bit more. All that run off. How many laps? Um, there's three minutes to go, basically. I think there's going to be two laps. That was a 37. Okay. Can we take 10 seconds off that? So I think the last time I was asking the car just to do too much. Matteo said sorry. Maybe Matteo's had an incident. There's some smoke here. Maybe Matteo's up for grabs. 12 seconds. Oh, again. I thought I was going to tease it a little bit. I'm racking up these instant points. Be careful. Here. I don't really know how much, how to pivot the car nicely. It's a bit of an enigma for me. Oh, the leaders are coming! Ah, oh, man. Well, we knew it was going to be a difficult combo. We knew that. We overachieved initially and now we're back down to perennially underachieving working JDM okay this can be the lap to get the 27 just gotta not spin and drive very fast here we go here we go carry the speed here so we've done that next corner is quite easy okay done that now this is a really tricky one this is a tricky one come on I mean, that to me, that to me feels kind of smooth. Don't know when to change gear, but we'd do it there. Now the last corner, we'll try and do it flat. See what lap time we can get. Had to lift because my line was pretty bad. One flag, one flag. What's it going to be? Where's the flag? My flag. 28. 28.1. Oh, okay. If we can get two tenths. Really kind of stopped that late. I don't know if it's a better exit or not. What's my favourite colour? No idea. No. Oh, for some reason I'm wide there, but that might actually be nicer. I don't know. I felt like it was quite smooth. I feel like the trick is probably getting on the power really early.
it's like the revs drop quite a bit there maybe need to rev it out a bit more i'm not sure this is going to be better but we'll see good race boys good race that's going to be flat good run guys it's lap time Ah, oh, 28.0. Well, I think we got on the pace. Flag, flag. We got on the pace. But that was a tough race. Hang on, let me see if there's anything at 11 o'clock. There's three minutes to go. Is there anything at 11? Uh, Porsche Mission R Radical. Uh, Mercedes AMG W13. Oh, Road America, European. I don't really know Road America. And I need to update it in two minutes. Camel. The only one we could do is European Sprint Class A. There's only 29 people. That's going to be a bit mad. Oh, Global Mazda f at Laguna Seca. Yes. Yes. MX5 rookies, how did I miss that? Here we go. I've joined. Master, this is exactly what we need to do. Master rookies at Laguna Seca joining. Nice. We're going to be just in time. I don't know what my favourite colour is. I've got to be honest. I don't really know. Right, it's loading up. So MX5's here. We weren't that good at the MX-5s on Wednesdays and we need to be, I think if you want to be a good driver, you've always got to keep yourself sharp in the MX-5. JDM says Lambo. Lambo is not a colour there, is it? This is going to be, a, I think this is going to be a 10 minute race with 10 other drivers. And this is actually the combination that was my first ever race in racing, I think, because this was the rookie round when I started iRacing. Monterey, California. I have actually been here. I've never driven it. No car. Yeah, this get it's loading up. It's ninety two percent loaded. It's quite a small track compared to Le Mans. Here we go. Okay, it's gonna put us in the thing in like ten seconds, so we'll just go straight into the race. lap times people are doing 39 is at the top so we know this is I have joined the right one right this is going to be the race hang on Oh yeah, okay. I was worried. <laughs> I was worried. Right, let's go. I've no idea what you're saying, Julian. I literally have no idea what you're saying. I can hear some explosions though. Okay, we should go out for the practice just to get accustomed to the car. Baseline. And avoid the sausages. And the corkscrew is going to be pretty difficult. That's how I see it. Black saying this is going to be the race. Well, it could be. What's our competition here? That's our competition. Let's get out.
I assume the pit limit uh, is there. <laughs> Such a dangerous pit exit. <laughs> So was it 39s? What can we do off the bat in a car that we were not very good at driving the other day? This one. Blind. Sausage curb on the inside. Kind of desert on the outside. Go into the dirt. Oh, so you just drag a wheel. That's good to know. And here, where do you break? Not about the two, is it? For the middle tree. It's quite a fun call doing the Mazda because you basically use the brake to turn. My car is there. They've got a turn right there. Okay, going to be qualifying. Look how good people's driver ratings are. <laughs> I guess it's done by splits, isn't it? Okay. Two laps qualifying, let's go. Fastest laps, people. Some people been in the 30, uh, 38s. Okay, I think if we can get in the 39s, that would be good, good for us, but let's see. Welcome over in the chat, let's see what we can do. tend to go wide on that exit. So important to keep the speed going up there. The wall. We hit the wall. We hit the wall. We hit the wall. We hit the wall. Oh, we'll come back. Right. That was the worst ever outlap in history. It, it, I can't think of a possible way that could have gone any worse. Luckily, we're still going to get our laps in, I think. Yep. Okay, we go again. We go again. It's a tricky one, this one. Asta definitely really wants to turn in when you get on that brake, which is quite nice. Don't know whether we went over that if we just avoided it actually.
to have a wider entry there, I think. Bit of sloppy there. Green, green, green. Let's turn them earlier there. Right, let's go. Two laps. Okay, you can 38's at the top. Way. Just I'll take anything in the 39. I have no idea though. We haven't even done this corner yet. Faster through here. Nice, sir. earlier here. Nicer exit. Don't know what this is going to be at all. Oh, okay, second off where we want to be. Let's do it. Is wide at the second apex. Sloppy there. Kind of same. A lot of that corner. <laughs> oh no, surely a track cut. <laughs> Went straight over that. deep on the exit there, so frustrating. Okay, I think there actually was a second we could find there, so I think we could get in those 39s, but that's where at the moment we're two laps. Okay. Take it from there. Why is this chicken flag, break chicken so flag. sticky? Right, let's go. 30 seconds. Yeah, I can't, I just can't escape this break being sticky. Quit up. Eight, only an eight minute race this. Come on, this is in the Mazdas. Oh, it's um, McLaren. Maybe it's the same guy. <laughs> is that the same guy? 
Is it just McLaren everywhere? Based in the Atlantic. In the sea. Well, the guy in P2's gone 1 1 2. The guy in the McLaren's just won his last two races. This is iRacing. We don't have any record in this series. Oh, it's a 16 minute race, okay. A bit longer. Hopefully we can get into a good battle. Waiting for someone to grid up, I think. It's going to be a bit of chaos. Pretty even eye rating around us. Oh, it's a 10 lap race, okay. Can eye racing be modded? You can mod it in terms of adding liveries like that. Is eye racing on iPad? No. I don't think it's an iPad. Who are we waiting for? But yeah, I kind of... This break is so sticky on the way back. I need to work that out. Maybe I need to adjust the loads. Okay, let's go. Oh, someone's first started, maybe. Green flag, green flag. Ten to go, this time by. Ten laps. Oh, that's a very interesting move by that blue car. went off didn't he? <laughs> Stage left. Oh, synchronised. I think they both might have just um, snapped on the brakes. That's P6. line through there is way too aggressive. really don't like that car, it's just too tight for me. Okay, 1.7 to the car ahead, but this car behind is really catching us. Is this a McLaren? Stay to the inside here. Right side. Clear. Come on, I really want to catch these drivers. Let's find that base finally. Just smoothness. Cost us going up the hill. I'm surprised it hasn't cost us more actually. Maybe third go coming down there. Just 
losing out of that corner. I wonder if it's even the first gear corner. Yeah, Leaf says first gear. Let's try that, because there were some parts of that lap where we were doing a bit better. Oh, such a rubbish slide. So bad into that first corner. It's a bit of a risky line, I think. How oh, nice on the likes, everyone. Huge to get a 109 rating stream, it's absolutely huge. So well done, everyone. Okay, yeah, third gear might be a bit nicer. Stop correcting them, mid corner. Oh yeah, definitely first. I wonder if uh, T1 is first as well. 100 likes! Huge, everyone. That is huge. For an iRacing stream, that is genuinely superhuman. That is absolutely mad. Nice job, everyone. Three point seven to the car heads. So having to correct so much mid corner. Four point two, they're getting away, come on. Need to find that pace. See those little slide that's Sliding sideways is costing me so much time. Don't, don't block me. It's just lap time, maybe. I feel like I'm having to learn driving again. It's like, it's crazy. Good move, Ryan. I'm gonna guess that was sarcastic. You got it, like Just on the left. gonna guess it. Is when you're already slow, you can slow down and sort of burn themselves sometimes. I always slide past that apex, like always. Okay, 
that's hard to take that one. But I've got to take this slow down. Slowing down. Car right. Clear. Five. Five to go. Left side. Well, that is a Clear on the left. Right side. Clear on the right. Yeah, race tomorrow should be good. F1. Car on your left. Still there. And we're back Clear. past it. Let's go again. <laughs> I think if I just did Mazdas for a day, I would become such a better driver. If I can just work out how to avoid that sliding. Oh, something's happened ahead. Maybe if I'm applying too much brake or not enough brake. Or something. God, that had accident written all over it. Slow and fast wrap, still here. Definitely coming under attack here. Definitely. Time for the football. Thought I'd try in third gear, but again, I just had that sliding where you just lose all your acceleration. Last crap. Three laps to go, we go over the line. P5 on the line here, maybe. Surely he's not lining one up from here. Kind of, he is. it a bit more that time. Two free positions coming, Leapy says. Let's see. I wouldn't say no. Oh, there might be one. Where is he? Where is he coming back on? Right side. Clear on the right. Oh no, we cut it again. You'll have to slow down. Let's see if we can stay that way. Two more, let's go. Getting sent here anyway. May as well take a slow down. Clear on the 
You're on the left. Restart. Two laps. As soon as we overtake this guy, he's going to send it. Your break there, I might just have lifted. Just let him know we're here and go for it. Very sketchy through there, all raids. White flag, stay smooth. Alright, are we going to get past this guy? The Gloria P6. No, 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 no. Shame that oh, we should have not done that actually. That would have been the first race we would have done today without losing control. I think we, I've just got to do a day of iRacing. That's it. We just got to do a day just streaming it from like 8 a.m. to like 10 p.m. solid iRacing just to sort of get back in the groove with iRacing because I've really struggled recently to uh, have that consistency but today's definite step up i've had glimpses today of, of like more reasonable pace i think but i seem to still go out of the envelope too often let's have a look here i just go out of the envelope too many times so here Yeah, I've lost traction really, lost that grip. Double pedaling as well, not great. So spinning up those rear tyres. And I should recognise by now, I'll just ease it off. But instead of continue to spin it, say. Thanks Olivier, yeah, we'll go again. We'll probably stream, we'll probably do GT7 tomorrow, stream it. Um, But I think we need to do more sims. I think we need to do more iRacing, we need to do more ACC need to sort of keep adjusting these things. This brake pedal, I just, I feel like it's just too sticky. So I might, on the PC, put the Fanatec V3s down there, but I don't know how I'm going to do that for GT7. But thanks so much everyone who's joined us today for the racing. Been absolutely insane. So many people coming through for um, the iRacing stream. Absolutely amazing. We'll do some more racing tomorrow. I think we've got to set ourselves some targets. So I don't know what the daily races are at the moment. But I think some time trialing would be good. Um, the only thing is in VR, you can't eat out of the time trial delta, so I've got to work that out. But yeah. So we're back tomorrow with some streaming, everyone. Thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. 100 likes on the stream has been absolutely mad because, you know, that is for an eye racing stream, 100 likes is genuinely a big, big, big number. So I really, really appreciate it. Incredible we can do that. But yeah, I'm going to end it there. I've been streaming for. Four and a half hours, I think. So that's quite a good run. And 